Hi! Uh, welcome to Monster of the Week on Q Times. Um, I will be your spooky, scary host, Sam Richardson, um, uh, also known as your keeper in this system. Um, and we are going to have a good time. Yeah. Um, right off the top, uh, I'm totally stealing this from William. I would like to thank a couple people, uh, specifically Evil Hat, um, who created Monster of the Week. Um, and my beautiful, wonderful cast here, William White. Uh, Sammy, what is your last name? Dar. Dar. Yeah. Sammy Dar and Jonas Newhouse. Um, I appreciate them letting me work my spooky, scary magic all over their, like, selves and the studio. <laughs> That's very, Thanks, Q-Times. That's a very jazz band of you to introduce <laughs> your players. I like, I, I'm super into it. It's mm -hmm. like, huh, we got, we got on Keeley, William White. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, over here on Maggie, we got Sam. <laughs> Jonas on the Henrietta. Jonas on the Henrietta. Uh, Solo's in Henrietta. So, if you don't know what Monster of the Week is, um, a basic overview is that it's a system that's based on TV shows like Buffy the Vampire Slayer, Supernatural, X-Files. It's sort of that premise where every week our character deals with a new monster. And it's pretty self-explanatory. Um, we will be... Playing in a, a game that I created that is all set inside of one hotel, so uh, it's going to be a bit of a bottle episode uh, to start off things off. And uh, yeah, cool. Let's talk briefly about um, the way you play the game, and then I will have each of the hunters introduce uh, their character, and we'll hop right in. So, uh, Monster of the Week is played with two of these guys right here, two D6s. Um, that is the only thing that any of the players are going to roll. It's the only thing that I'm going to roll. Um, <laughs> we won't be rolling anything except D6s unless my players would like to fuck with me. Um, <laughs> Twelve. <laughs> on how many D6s? Uh, five, but I only took the highest two. Okay. Um, uh, <laughs> they will be using a, a variety of what are called basic moves, um, and those uh, are kick some ass. Act under pressure, help out, investigate a mystery, manipulate someone, protect someone, read a bad situation, and last but not least, use magic. Uh, um, there's also big magic. You don't roll for that, though. That is oh. part of use magic. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. It's, you have to have specific things. We might I get there. We'll magic. see. We'll see how magic. we do. Um, this is also <laughs> going to be a two-part stream. So this is part one of two. We will get to roughly the halfway point. I don't know. We'll find out. Uh, we're all going to find out together. It'll be yeah, a fun time. Yeah, I doubt it. Um, <laughs> and we will be uh, playing for about two and a half hours. Let's let's put up a timer, shall we? Shall we put up a timer we'll on a this, timer. Year, this year's screen? What kind of timer you want? Oh, you I'm going to put up screen? my own you know timer. I'm just going to play. I'll just be in my character's headspace. You That's can keep track of the timer. You know Why don't you keep the timer? I will. You know what? I will. Uh, okay. Um... With that, uh, why don't we start with who's who's first? Probably Jonas. Jonas. That'd be me. Why don't you start? Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining me on my stream. Uh, my name is Jonas Newhouse. <laughs> uh, he, him, and I am playing Henrietta Sam. Sam with a silent L. The monstrous. Wow. All right. Hi. I'm Sam. Uh, she, her pronouns, and I'm playing Maggie uh, Thornback, the spell slinger. Also, she, her. Did yeah. I say Henrietta she her? I feel like I did. Yeah, right. I don't I know. Did. I think I, so. I told you all earlier. Yeah. She I is. told you twice maybe now. Oh, okay. Sorry, um, William. Okay, cool. Uh, hello, I'm William. They, them. And I am playing... <laughs> I was I just about <laughs> changed my character's name to Sam in my... Like, just, <laughs> like, just as a goof. But I'm playing oh. Keely. I'm playing Keely Stewart, uh, the expert. Mm. And Keely is she, her. Excellent. Okay. Full squaddle, um, Lady Monster Hunters today. So, uh, let's get started with this here game. Um, I am going to read a brief introduction to bring you into the world of the Dirge. I'm scared now. The Dirge was never meant to be a centerpiece. Back in the 80s, when the economic boom had given every business venture capitalist a hard-on for expansion, there seemed to be plenty of room for a massive hotel in the town of Huntsville. The city was flush with cash from its paper mill and coal refinery, and while the odd resident would complain of the smell, the opportunity seemed to be a lucrative one. So architects and city councilmen drew up ambitious proposals. 
The dirge, they said, would be the first step towards an expanded Huntsville, a brilliant jewel in the mighty crown that would attract tourism far and wide. One day, it would look out over the gleaming suburban lights of an earnest but modern metropolitan square. Perhaps one day, they whispered, with their fingers crossed, Huntsville would be mentioned in the same breath as Minneapolis, or Milwaukee, or, if they let themselves really dream, maybe even Philadelphia. A perfect free market utopia right in their own backyards. And so, with their gazes set firmly on the horizon and their cynicism checked at the door, construction on the dirge began. Perhaps the rain on the day of the ribbon cutting ceremony should have signaled that something was amiss. But these were Midwestern folk and they refused to be scared off by the clouds. Mayor Hardy Tackard, coal executive turned lauded political hero, delivered a rousing speech about the future of Huntsville through a megaphone while struggling not to be upstaged by the wind. The dirge is the future of Huntsville, he shouted, wrestling his umbrella back to his side. But it is only the beginning. Here the citizens of this great land lay the first stone in the ground, so that the generation after us may walk the path and marvel. The dirge shall remain an ever-tangible symbol of the strength and perseverance of this community. The giant novelty scissors had become slick with freezing rain, and he was forced to abandon his umbrella to the surrounding valley as he worked them up and down, trying desperately to cut the ribbon. After a few moments of struggling, he grabbed a hold of it and simply tore it free. His large, handsome smile motivated a few frigid cheers from the audience as he turned to look at them, but it only took a moment for the gathered crowd to discern that the ceremony was over and quickly flee back to warmer climes. It took eight years for the dirge to finish construction, during which time Mayor Tacker disappeared and was posthumously indicted on 13 counts of embezzlement and six counts of fraud. His disappearance took most of the development money with him. The sunk cost of the hotel managed to keep enough of the developers around to see it through until completion, but there was no fanfare on its opening day. Just the begrudging sense that the job had been completed and could finally, blissfully, be left to fall to ruin. None of the other developments that were intended to turn Huntsville into a thriving metropolis materialized. Instead, strip malls encroached on the town like rats, eating up the abandoned real estate that was promised to future generations. And all the while, the dirge looked on. Anticipating the other developments, the planners had thought to make it over 12 stories tall so that it would not seem dwarfed by any new competitors. But the evaporation of any additional way forward left it awkwardly framed against the horizon, constantly vi visible from anywhere in town. There was no mistaking the failure. What should have been a path was instead a cynical monolith, glaring at any who dared dream of better days. Huntsville has changed since the failure of the dirge. Its paper mill closed in the early aughts, ridding the community of both its odor and its larger, largest employer in one fell swoop. It wasn't long before technology caught up with the coal refinery, too, which exchanged many of its jobs for machinery and precision. Huntsville has become a stop along the way rather than a destination, and even its few loyalists privately curse the losses. If only, they say, if only. Fittingly, the dirge is now most commonly known for its ghost stories. The people of Huntsville talk amongst themselves about the visage of Hardy Tackard, drifting sullenly through the halls, trapped forever in a shining coffin of his own illicit creation. Everyone laughs when they hear these stories, but no one tells them where the dirge can hear them. The dirge, for its part, has remained in business. There's something tantalizing about the tallest building in a small town, especially when it can be seen all the way from the highway. These days, its inhabitants are mainly there to gamble or to get away from lives that seem desperately forgetful. Despite its certified five-star amenities and the brazen slogan, luxury in style, its prices more closely resemble that of a Motel 6, making it the perfect stop for a rough and tumble highway crowd. You, of course, know none of this. Perhaps it was a billboard that lured you to this ill-gotten spot, a broken vehicle, or a desire to get away. Maybe the dirge drew you here with a purpose, or maybe it was happenstance. Either way, it's raining as you pull off the highway and into the parking lot. Let's start with Maggie. Okay. Maggie, why are you at the dirge? Uh, I needed to stop for the night. Cool. On my way. Um, you are are stopping for the night. You see the, the glow of the hotel from the highway, mm -hmm. and you sort of 
pull off and into a, a parking lot. It's not a super nice parking lot, honestly. It seems like they, they skimped on that. Mm -hmm. um, uh, there is only a couple other vehicles in the parking lot, one of which is a, a white like pest control van, which is already not a good sign uh, when you pull into the parking lot of a hotel. Not the best. Um, but uh, uh, the hotel itself seems incredibly nice, especially for, you know, randomly in the middle of nowhere. Okay. Um, what do you do? Um, I'm going to park my car, mm -hmm. I'm going to get out, and I'm going to go check in. Cool. Um, Henrietta. Yeah. Why are you at the dirge? Uh, I'm here to see the pool. Oh, cool. Um, yeah. The, I read I, it has a pool, and I'd like to see that. It definitely does. It has a, a very ornate pool. Um, you would have seen in the brochures that mm -hmm. uh, their their pool enclosure is, is uh, or I shouldn't say enclosure, their pool room mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> is reported to be the, the best in the entire state. Awesome. Um, and so perhaps that is what... Uh, yeah, I mean that that's that's an appeal for sure, yeah. and I've hit some on the way as well, and I plan to hit more on the way to the next one. But this is the biggest one. This is a big stop for me. Oh yeah, or the best sure. one. Yeah, for sure. Um, I think uh, as you pull up, you see uh, Maggie get out of her car and walk up towards the entrance, um, and it is raining outside. Awesome. Um, uh, Quite hard, actually. I, I think I, I should like get out of the car. <laughs> Sorry, real quick. This isn't wine. <laughs> I'm drinking water. I forgot my water bottle. This yeah. is all I had. I'm sorry. I mean, I, I would hope anyone watching can tell, unless we put some like wild effects on the camera. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But yeah, it is clearly water. Yeah, it's um, not wine. It's vodka. It's vodka. It's vodka. Well, it would be gin. Yeah. If it was going to be anything, it would be gin. <laughs> it looks like a bourbon to me. Uh, so it's raining. So I get out of the car and I see someone going up. And like, honestly, that probably doesn't register as much to me unless you look cool. like especially odd in any way. But I don't know. What does Maggie look like? I don't know. Just like dark clothes. Some Doc Martens, bright red lips, pretty pale skin, cool. really dark hair. That's it. Awesome. Nah, not too, nothing too um, crazy. Yeah, I, I don't. I don't think I pay much attention to the other person. Okay. Um, but Henrietta, Henrietta, who is tall, bald, and built like a swimmer, um, just like sees the person and just like tilts her head back and opens her mouth and just like starts letting the water come cool. in. Seems like she's not from around here. Maybe. Uh, cool. Like a could be. You two walk you. into the ground floor of the uh, <laughs> casino. Or, I'm sorry, the ground floor of the hotel. You enter an enormous, decadent front room. Chandeliers dangle lightly from a ceiling far above. Um, there's sort of a, a long, polished marble floor that kind of spreads out in front of you. Um, and far at the other end, you can see the entrance to a casino. Um, and there's sort of a, a front desk off to one side and elevators off to the other. Um, Keely, why are you in the main lobby? Uh, well, because the, the TV in my room isn't working right now. It's a, it's one of those, it's an old antenna TV. I've seen other rooms and I know they have flat screens. So, <laughs> um, but maybe it's because the first, the first TV I got, I broke immediately and I've been here for a couple of months. Mm -hmm. So I've got this, they, they, they've given me this old TV that has like a dial turning knob. Sure. And uh, the knob has come off, and the antenna are like so bent that it's just like. So you're just getting stat complete static. Complete static, yeah. Mm -hmm. And I, I was watching TV Land. I was, I, I was watching old episodes of Mash. <laughs> okay, so, I love it. Yeah. Um, you are probably talking to someone you've spoken with quite a few times then since yes. you've been staying at the Dirge, um, Shelley, um, who works the front desk. Um, she's, uh, you know, 29-ish, long blonde hair, um, she looks nice, uh, you, you probably have had, uh, pleasant exchanges with her so far, um, and you can probably tell that this really just only feels like a job. This mm -hmm. isn't her, like, passion, it's sort of just, like, steady income until she can move on. Cool. Uh, so, we're, we're so sorry, um, we, we don't have another TV. Oh, I um, shall uh, did, did break uh, that one. With all due respect, a little bit. Um, I am in hell currently, inside of my room. Uh, I would really appreciate if you could come and do something for me. Now, I, I understand that there's there's probably 
not another TV you can give me, but like yeah. maybe some entertainment if there's a juggler coming through town or there's something to send him up to my room. I mean, I guess. I mean, like, I can give you some, like, chips for the casino, but that's it. Casino chips? Oh, shit. Sorry. No, I can't. The casino's getting cleaned today. Shell. Sorry. Hold on. Okay, There's a we, bar. But there, oh, oh, gosh. I can't drink seven days in a row. <laughs> <laughs> I beg to differ. Shelly's, Shelly starts, like, kind of giggling in in character. Mm -hmm. Shell, please throw me a bone, um, Shell. Come on. Nick. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Game Boy. You got a Game Boy? DS, anything. Oh, oh, she, a standard she pulls, Game Boy. She pulls uh, like an old like Game Boy Color out from beneath the desk, and she's like very like careful with it. She like slides it across to you. She's like, I don't know when you saw me playing Game Boy, but uh, I need you to be careful with this. You can take it for today. So I could since we, I, you know, we broke your TV, and honestly, frankly, you're one of the only guests right now. But. Please be careful. Hey, Shell, I know all you do is your job, and you don't do anything else while you're on the job, like play Pokemon Yellow version. It's not Pokemon Yellow. It's definitely Pokemon Blue. Last <sighs> Toys Forever. Darn it. I thought I saw you. Okay, that's all right. I do like having the little Pikachu follow me around, but I can I can make do with this. Thank you so much. I will, I will return this item of Shell, hotel no, servitude. No, sh sh just... To the front desk. Fjord, Fjord cannot hear about this, okay? If, if Fjord asks, it's mine. Okay. Okay. All right. And she slides it across the desk to you. Yeah, and uh, and I will take it. Um, as you turn to head back towards the elevators, I'm assuming, um, you see the doors slide open, um, and Maggie steps in um, towards the front desk. She's a little soaked, honestly, even just from the walk from the parking lot to the front door. Um, I don't know if you realized how hard it was raining outside, but it, it seems like really. it's really coming down out there. It's really um, coming down out there. That's what they say in the Midwest, actually. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I've been doing. I've been doing. I, I, I went undercover in the Midwest okay. just for this awesome. campaign. You could have just um, asked me. I lived there for like twenty-three years. You know, I, but you've been tainted by California. I just don't trust you anymore. Oh, that's true. So Maggie. Yes. Um, you see, uh, uh, Keely Stewart. Right? Yes. Keely Stewart, um, who looks like... So Keely Stewart uh, has light brown skin and uh, has like very short hair that is just bunched up into a, a, a dark black like flat uh, brim all around, like very large, uh, large for her size hat. Mm -hmm. She is also like rather petite uh, and, um, and is wearing... Kind of androgynous clothing, like just in the in the form of like like whatever that means. But uh, uh, effectively, what I'm wearing, like, has a vest on. It is open. Is wearing a loose tie, uh, and they just, I mean, like she she lives in a hotel and still decides to like kind of like put put on something that uh, she enjoys and that makes her feel and look cool uh, and that kind of a thing. Uh, but also, um, she does, she only has one arm. Um, she is, she's missing her, uh, her left arm from the, from the elbow down and, um, and is also wearing like kind of a, a long flowing skirt, like a black flowing skirt. Cool. Nice. Okay. Um, so you see this person in front of you and you also see Shelly sort of exasperated, um, behind the front desk. Yeah. Um, are you going to mm -hmm. go up and try to get a room? Yeah, I've definitely, I'm just going to walk up and be like, Hey. Oh, hi. How, how can I help hey, you? Hey, can I get a room? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. What? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. It? Um it's going to be uh $65 a night. A night. Or $55. I'm going to my bag and like... <laughs> Yeah, all right. Yeah, 55? Here $50 we go. Like... a night. Okay, well, in my bag. Um yeah, I mean like 45. That's gotta be fifty. I can't go lower than fifty. Fine, I'm gonna hand it over. Yeah. Okay. Do you are you paying in cash or card? Uh, cash. Okay. Yeah. Uh, thank you. Um, okay. actually, our our card machine's broken, so it's oh, good. good that you had cash. Yeah. Um, uh, 
Listen, we have a we have a variety of amenities. There's uh-huh. um, the pool and the casino. What's my room number? Um, it is uh, 705. 705. Do I? Um, do you have keys or? I'm gonna write that down. Quick. What's my room number? I'm Keely. I'm eavesdropping, by the way. <laughs> cool. Uh, Keely's room number would be 707. So, so you're, we're you're near, we're like right next to each other? Wait. 705. Hell yeah. You're 707? 707. Oh, great. <laughs> I better be 711. Uh, uh, she says, um, here... I better be 711? Come on. <laughs> I didn't mean like here's the thing, your... I meant just like the number. <laughs> here, here's your um, key card. Yeah. Um, we can't give out... Listen, we can't afford two key cards for everyone, so I don't care. just come back to the desk if okay, you need another great. one. Can we'll I print. Please? Yeah, sorry. Thank you. Um, here. And then I take an eye leaf. Okay. Immediately. She's like, oh, I fucked <laughs> that one up. Oh, man. What floor uh, are we on? Are we on the seventh floor? Does it go by like. Yes. What floor? Like, okay, cool, cool, cool. So cool, cool, we. Cool, 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 is the elevator cool, cool, cool. functional? The elevator is functional. Oh, okay. Thank goodness. I want to go over and push the button to the elevator and like hold it open. And, and, okay. and like just gesture uh, over to Maggie. Cool. Uh, and she'd be like, "Hey, um, uh, I'm go- I'm going up right now. Anyway, if you want to go up, I heard I overheard your you're seven oh seven uh, seven something. It's on the seventh floor. That's where I am. Yeah. Uh, thanks. And I'll get in. Okay. Henrietta, you walk in. Um, <laughs> you said you've been standing in the rain. right? I was standing there for a bit, and then I probably like walked up to the door, still <laughs> with my head okay. back. <laughs> Um, just like, you are yeah. you are completely drenched. Yes, then. and I um, and I'm not wearing like a raincoat, have no umbrella or anything. Cool. Nor am I doing anything to dry off. Cool. Yeah. Um. So I think you're like leaving little puddles mm-hmm. where you step as you walk. Like just, like you're mm-hmm. you're what what kind of shoes are you? wearing? I don't think I am. I think I'm barefoot. No Here's what I'm thinking. I am barefoot and I'm just wearing like a big <laughs> like uh like very probably dark blue um. Almost just, I guess, like a shawl kind okay. of yeah. um, that is like pretty much covering me. Um, but you can see I'm wearing just like a one piece swimsuit underneath. Okay. Shelly, like, at sees you walk in, she's like, oh, okay, all right. Hi. Um, and I, I, welcome, I look at her. Welcome to the dirge. Thank you. Um, cool. We, we do have a, you have to rent a room to. I don't need a bed. Well, Okay, but you have you, you have may to just point room. me to the pool. That's where I'm going. We have you need a access card for the room to get in. Please, we gotta. You need to rent a room. No, I don't need a room. I just need a pool. We, but you have to to get into the to get into the pool. You need to. I need, need the card to rent a room oh, to no. get into the pool because you oh, need the card for the room to get into the pool. Are you certain? Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty. Sh- I'm pretty sure. You see, um, behind the front desk, there's like a another door, mm-hmm. um, and you see it open, and you see like you you get a peek in there for mm-hmm. a moment, and there's like two guys sitting in the back, um, with this big like wall of monitors, mm-hmm. um, and this one guy kind of like pokes his head out. He's like, "Hey, Shelly, is uh, is this all it's all good or what's up?" She's like, yeah, it's no, it's fine. Fjord, go, just you're fine. Um, and he he kind of like, oh, all right, shuts the door. She's like, sorry, um, it is okay. So if you're certain, you do have to you do have to rent a room. I suppose I will pay you then. Uh, and I reach in. I have a giant like luggage bag, like okay. probably. So I said that that uh, uh, Henrietta is tall. This is probably almost as tall as her. Cool. It's like big oversized luggage bag. Um, that it seems like I'm pulling, like, if it's full, it's way lighter than it should be, or I'm okay. much stronger than I look. Okay. Um, but I just, like, I unzip the big compartment, and I pull out a crumpled up pair of pants, like, probably black dress pants. Yeah. Reach into the pocket, and I pull out, uh, from just, like, one of the pockets, a silver credit card, and I hand it to Shelly. Our, sorry, our, our machine is, do you have cash? Oh, no. But that's Okay. I didn't want to pay you anyway, so this works out for both of us. Well, okay, here. Um, can you just like tomorrow? There's listen. There's an ATM just down the road at the Seven oh. Eleven. Can you go just like get cash out tomorrow, and we'll just like tonight will be fine. Certainly. Okay. How much money will you be needing? Eighty-five dollars. Eighty-five dollars. I can do this by tomorrow morning. By tomorrow morning, yeah, please. Yes, eighty-five dollars. It's Where actually you um, if you want to use the pool, it's ninety-five. This seems unfair. I come only to use the pool, and you charge me extra for the pool on top of a room I do not even want. You're right. It's 75. Thank you. 
She um, tried. <laughs> Shelly really tried. She really did. Um, and she she uses the little machine, prints you out a, or, mm-hmm. or um, formats a card for you, and then hands it. She's like, sorry. There's as only soon one. as I have it, I start to walk away. Don't, don't lose the card. Don't lose it. Where should I keep it? Ah, uh, I have a pocket. And I take the pants back out of the luggage bag, I put it into the pocket of the pants, and zip <laughs> it pants, back up. I'm picturing the pants are wet. I don't know why. I'm sure are they the are. I'm, they look like they're probably a little damp still. Okay. Yeah. They definitely yeah, went right. in there wet. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, and uh, I think you you head for the elevators, uh, sure. just as the elevator containing the two of you dings closed and heads up to the seventh floor. Um, your room number is uh, 709. You don't say. <laughs> Cool. Okay. Um, so, you two. The elevator is like. Ding, ding, so, uh, what are ding, what are you in town for? Ding, y- you you been to the dirge? Ding, no. Ding, it's pretty. It's all right. It's got it's got its nice little charm. That's stuff. great. Uh, did did one of you press seven? Yeah, yeah, I would have pressed okay. seven. Okay. <laughs> um, it goes an extra floor. And stops and opens on eighth floor. Oh, that's weird. Um, has yeah. this ever happened before? No. No, this has never happened before. Great, and I'm just gonna keep walking and try to go. You leave, stairs. leave yeah. the. Okay. Yeah. Oh wait, hold on. Um, and I'm I'm gonna get out too. Okay. I'm just falling. Um, <clears throat> I'm no, still walking. It's probably a good. Yeah, we gotta get our exercise. I mean, you can't use the elevator for everything. I think that was a good idea <laughs> uh-huh. to step out of the elevator. Also, you never know. I mean, if that's malfunction and if we had stayed in there and it would have dropped back down, I mean, it probably. Do you need something? Um, or... no, I'm just going to my room. I just like I've been here for a little while. Uh huh. All right. There's not a lot of people here. <laughs> <laughs> We're all about gonna, just leaving conversation. Are you, are you looking for stairs? <laughs> yes. Okay. Um, yes, there are stairs. stairs. So if you go all the way down the hallway, there are stairs sort of at the other end. Okay. Um, there's like two doors. Just so one you know, of which everything that Sam is saying, I'm saying to you in character. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like, are you looking for the stairs? Uh, just so you know, if you go all the way down the hallway. Um... <laughs> I'm getting visibly annoyed. <laughs> uh, one of there, there's sort of two. Uh, a little a little room with an ice maker and a vending machine and uh-huh. two doors. One of which is the stairs. Clearly labeled stairs. Cool. I'm Still just picturing, everything. Now I'm picturing Still your, your boys. Um, and <laughs> the other of which is is li- uh, uh, is another like it's like a service elevator sort of thing. Okay. Um, so you open and go down the stairs to the seventh floor. Yeah. Um, I'm following ar- you the whole time. Great. And, still still saying stuff to you. Like and it. arrive oh at God. your your room. Okay. All right. So here's your room. Uh, coincidentally, that's mine right there. I'm right next to you. So. <laughs> oh, perfect. Yeah. yeah. Um, I I would invite you over to watch some TV or something, but my TV isn't working. Actually, you you probably got a better TV than I do. I'm I'm sure you've got like some kind of a, um, a, a flat screen or something. I used to have a flat screen, but it got Can broken. Can I try to open? <laughs> <laughs> yep. Uh, it it opens up. It opens on the first time. Great. I love that we're all going to be drawn together by fate. <laughs> yes. Uh, the door slams in your face. Okay. All right. That's a good point. You just got here. You probably got to take care of some business. And then, and right at that moment, the elevator dings open. Mm-hmm. Uh, are you going to the pool? Or oh are you, yeah, are I'm you going, going to straight the to the pool. Okay. Do you know where the pool is? I was gonna ask. So, okay. I, is there like a little, um, <laughs> for lack of a better word, table of contents of the elevator, of like what's on each floor? Yeah. So I think there's there's like numbers Directory. for most of it. Okay. Um, and then there's a there's like a a number below one that says mm-hmm. pool. Cool. I so, just click that one. Okay. Um, so you. You, the elevator goes down and stops and opens up, and it is the most ornate pool you have seen in your life. There's like gold trim around the edges of the thing. There's like a big uh, uh, glass roof that you think it's like the the pool is kind of like out back of it, but underground. So the glass roof is kind of like you see the rain coming down on it. Ooh. Um, and uh, there, it, it it looks amazing. I mean, it looks incredible. I like I'm kind of like looking up, but I'm also just walking forward where okay. I can I know I can feel where the water is. Yeah, um, I'm gonna get like I'll I'll drop my luggage bag yeah. and my I guess cloak halfway between this door and the pool. Okay, I'm just gonna walk up to the pool and just like walk into it. Cool. Um, the pool is not heated at all, so it's a little cold. I think that's fine. That's fine. Yeah. Yeah, that'll be fine. I figured that would be yeah. fine. Um, um, uh, I basically, it's like, I just, I walk forward, I just like step into the water and like onto the, like the floor of the pool. Yeah. And then as soon as both feet are down, I just like lean forward and start swimming. Cool. And it's just like, 
Um, Strong, fast. Do you hear the you hear the elevator like ding behind you? Mm-hmm. Um, and this uh, this man walks out of the elevator. Um, he's sort of a, a larger guy dressed in like a housekeeping uniform, um, and he's moving a big bin full of towels. Mm-hmm. Uh, and he like like walks out of the elevator. He's kind of like humming to himself and like you know whatever. And then he sees you in the pool, and he's like, uh, "I'm just doing laps." There's, hello, hi. Um, I like poke my head up as I'm still swimming, just like, oh, uh, uh, I wasn't doing my character voice. This is the <laughs> one of the only ones I did. Uh, uh, so, uh, do you need a towel? No. Or a bathrobe? No, no. I will be fine. I have everything I need here, but thank you. You are kind. Yeah. And he's just going to, like, wheel his big barrel full of towels back into the elevator and then start going back up. Cool. I want to just, as, as he's leaving, I'm just like, thank you. And I just fla- I just flash him a big grin of just sharp teeth. Cool. Um, Keely. Yes. What are you doing? So, uh... I I was gonna I was gonna go back to my room and just play Game Boy, but um, I did catch Henrietta come in, mm-hmm. and that's like very interesting to me. Yeah. So I've been, just been like uh, I'm I'm headed back down to the to the front desk. Okay. And I like I just like pop up. Uh, Shelly, like the minute she sees you walk out of the elevator, is like. Shell, 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 did, you, did you break it? Um, <laughs> no, I still. Break the game? You no, didn't I have break it right it, here. Did you, right did you here. break Duck Is it broken? Though? It's not broken. No, of course I didn't break it. I haven't even had a chance to turn it on yet. Okay, so um, that big person that showed up. Oh yeah, uh, yeah. Um, what? I know you probably can't tell me because um, of. She went to the pool. Nice. Okay. <laughs> cool. Someone's using the pool. Yeah, I know. Oh, right? it's so cold. I would never. Right? <laughs> I would never use that it's, pool. I mean, that we stopped heating that thing like when you got here. Oh, gross! I, I did my toes in it once, and uh, I, I swear I just about got frostbite on the uh, in an instant. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Thanks, Shell. Um. Uh, hey, hey, you didn't? Did you? Did you hear my? You didn't? Did you hear my? Did you? What are you? Did you hear my conversation with that woman? The big one? Yeah. No. I just saw that person come in and I... Good, 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 good. Oh, why? Good. No, nothing. No, it's... No? no? Charge extra, put a little in your pocket? No. All right. That's what I would have done. Listen, I give you the Game Boy, okay? Just like... All right, I'm out of here. Okay, all right, all right, all right. Um, uh, You start... You walk to the elevators and head down to the pool? I, I start going for the elevator, but then... I think of my um, my athletically conscious friend that I just met. No, I'm going, I'm going for the stairs. And, I, <laughs> and I'm going to go take the stairs. Uh, Maggie's such okay. a good influence. Uh-huh. Um, Without even uh, trying. No. Henrietta. Yeah. Uh, how long are you in the pool? Uh, I'm not leaving. Cool. Yeah, I do not plan to leave this pool until I leave the hotel. Great. Uh why don't you roll me something? Nice, okay. nice, 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 nice. Why nice, don't nice, you nice. roll me? First roll, first roll, first um, roll, first um, roll. If you don't, can, use I, can your I try to kick this water? water's ass? <laughs> no. <laughs> Why don't you roll me? Read a bad situation. Oh, uh, that, that makes sense. Uh-oh. That is a five plus zero. Perfect. <laughs> Good. I failed. Excellent. You've fallen right into my plot trap. <laughs> um, Ooh. So, Ooh, no. um, you don't have any hair on your head. None. Um, do you have hair on your arms and legs? I have no hair on my body. Interesting. I shave every day to make sure. That is very interesting. Uh, then here's what happens. Uh, you dive down underwater to do another lap in this pool. And as you push off of the wall, you feel something like, like, scrape you. Like, you, it feels like, you know when you brush up against something, like, rough or sharp? And especially in the pool, and it's like, oh, that's part of the pool. Mm-hmm. Uh, it sort of feels like that, but it's it kind of intense for a moment. Yeah. Um, and then it's gone. 
I think the second I feel something touch me yeah. that I didn't see coming, I reach back and bite and in that just general area. Cool. Um, with a five, mm -hmm. you bite water. Cool. And I... Numb. Um, um, and uh, you can also taste, by the way, because uh, you are sensitive to this sort of thing. This mm -hmm. pool does not have enough chlorine in it, mm -hmm. for sure. Which I probably appreciate. Uh, that's up to you. I, I, I think <laughs> I, I think I'm tired of overly chlorinated water at this point because cool. I've been traveling the Midwest pools for a while. Excellent. So, yeah. um, and at that moment, uh, the door opens up, uh, and Keeley steps down into the pool area. And you see, you see the, the person you're looking for just doing fast, strong laps around the pool? You practicing for the limpets? Um, sorry. I uh, pop my head up. No. And I go back sorry, under. Sorry, practicing for the Olympics. I got, <laughs> got a little anxious. Hey. No, you're not? No, I am not. You sure could. Thank you. That's pretty impressive the way you're moving through that water. Almost. Are you going to be speaking to me for long? Um, I, I don't have to. It's okay if you are. I just would like to know. Um, sure. Okay. I'm, unless you want me to. Um, I get the sense that many of you around here like to speak to, uh, to hey, me. Hey, my name is Keely. Hello, Keely. Like nice to meet you. Like K-E-E-L-Y. And I'm still swimming Stuart. his head up now. Stuart? Yeah, if you want to call me Stu, because that's easier than Keely. Because most people just call me Kelly and they're wrong. Oh, no, I knew Akili. I can call you Keely. You knew Akili? I knew Akili. I've only met one other Keely in my life. Huh. Was it Keely Johnson in New York? I had never been to New York. <laughs> well, then there are at least three Keelys. Oh, You'll snap. be happy to know. Wow, how about that? <laughs> I bet I bet, I bet, the other Keelys get called Kelly all the time, too. Oh, I do not know. What's your name? My name's Keely? My name, my name is Henrietta. Henrietta. Henrietta Sam. Henrietta Sam? Yes. Yeah, your last name's a first name. Well, well there's a silent L in it. Where? In, uh, right around in the middle. S-A-L-M. Oh, like salmon. Sure. Oh, like salmon. Sure. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, hey, wait, you're, you're, like, you're, like, like, regular, like, you're like regular old salmon in that water right now. Okay. And I go back underwater <laughs> and I keep swimming. Uh, Maggie, yeah. what are you doing? Um, I'm probably right about now realizing that I left um, all my stuff in my car, except for okay. like, my bag of things. Okay. So I'm going to go grab things. Are you being careful because you don't want to run into Keely again, yes. perhaps? <laughs> I am <laughs> definitely going to open the door and peek. Okay. Um, the hallway is empty. Great. Um, as most hallways are in the dirge. Hmm. Sad. I'm going to keep going. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, okay. You, you walk uh, down to the elevator and take the elevator down to the lobby. Hmm. Um, and when you arrive in the lobby, there's someone speaking to Shelly. Um, it's actually two people. Uh, they are dressed in a, like a white, that, like baggy white suit that kind of gives people away as being in like the pest control business. Right. Mm. Um, they have like masks, like those, um, what are they called? Like air filter masks, but they're not wearing them currently. Um, there's an, an older guy who's, uh, sort of like definitely gone gray, like, like could be a grandparent to someone. Mm -hmm. Um, and then there's a younger guy who looks, uh, probably like early 20s like he looks like maybe the mentee of this relationship mm -hmm. okay. um and the older guy is, is speaking um forcefully to shelly who's sort of like not sh she's like all right like this is about my pay grade sort of thing he's like yeah no listen we gotta close that whole uh that whole casino it's got to be 24 hours you know we, we can't let anyone in and she's she's like okay well just i mean like just go talk to Peter. Like, this is not my thing. Right. Uh, he's like, okay, well, where's Peter's office? Uh, and she sort of, like, directs him around the corner, and you see there's a door labeled administrative offices. Mm -hmm. um, and the two of them sort of head off towards those offices. And she just looks exhausted. Yeah. Like, this has clearly been a long shift for Shelly. What with Keeley coming down and asking for another TV and... Give there's, away our game boy. At, there's at least two new people in the hotel, which is honestly way more than normal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, they have a combined plus five weird. Yeah. No, right. <laughs> um, she just, uh, she's just not feeling it. She's just kind of like, like, she has like a little, a little, it, it's not even a chair. It's like a wooden stool mm -hmm. off to one side. And she like pulls it out and like sits down behind the counter. Okay. Um, um, I'm going to walk over to her actually. Okay. 
Um, I'm gonna lean. Yeah, sorry. Yes. Um, okay. Do you do you need? That was what weird. Do you need? What was that about? Uh, oh, it's just pest control. There. Oh. Um, oh, I mean, the. <laughs> <laughs> what are they here for? Nothing. Like They're guests. Bed bugs. Nope. Rats. Mm -mm. No, what is Definitely it? not. None of those. Mm -hmm. None of those ones. Cool. Uh, do you have a dolly or something? Like one of those things I can put my luggage on, or like. Um, maybe. Maybe. Okay. Hang on. Give me one second. It's and she standard. pulls out. She pulls out a little like walkie-talkie. Yeah, yeah. And she's like, Shh. Bobby. 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 Can I grab it from her? Okay. <laughs> and he's he's like, hey, hey, uh, sorry. What? What's up? What's up? Bobby, get your ass over here. Who now. are you? Thank you. Hey, and then I'll hand it where back. do I go? <laughs> <laughs> she she picks up. She's like, can you can you bring one of those like do we have one of those luggage things? Can you bring it to the lobby? He's like, yeah, I think we got one of those. Uh, and you hear like <laughs> like in the administrative offices, yeah. you hear like this crash, and he's mm -hmm. like. It's gonna be a, uh, it's gonna be a minute, <laughs> uh, and then uh, uh, oh, she's she sits back down on her okay. stool. Hey, feel free to veto this. Yeah. Can I have gotten a walkie-talkie and found the channel they all talk on? Absolutely. You've been here for months. Oh yeah. My goodness. Yeah. So I like hear all that. And I'm like, oh, okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> you you hear me? Bobby forgot to turn his off, so for just a minute you hear fuck shit. Oh my god, oh, holy shit. That hurt a lot. Uh, and then you hear nothing. It's Bobby died. No, um, I want to say really quick, I marked yes. experience because I rolled five earlier. And whenever oh, you yeah. roll six or less, or when a move tells you to, you mark experience. And when yeah, you get five, you so level up. This is a fun thing about Monster of the Week that I totally forgot to cover at the beginning of the game. Uh, but when you roll a five or less, or a, a six or less, I believe, six that is a failure. Um, so that usually means something bad is ha will happen, but uh, each of the players, when that happens, will mark experience. Um, I started you with one point of experience because I'd love someone to level up while we play this game. I'd and love get it to some, be me. Some level up <laughs> skills. I hope to fail so much. Yeah. Um, such a failure. There are more advanced skills that you can take once you've leveled up enough. Um, yeah. Experience is fun. It's a fun little system. I should also mention uh, there's another mechanic in Monster of the Week called Luck. Right. That allows you to take uh, 12 on any, to make any roll a 12, essentially. Or avoid all harm on an injury. Or avoid all harm on an injury. I have started each of the three players with half as much luck as normal because we are only playing a one shot. So you are welcome to use that. I will warn you, bad shit happens if you run out of luck. Specifically, I get your character sheet, mm -hmm. and shit might get bad. Uh oh. Do we? So I have four boxes shaded in on the doomed side. Is that how many luck points I have? Yes. Or okay, so I have four shaded luck points. Shaded in means you have. And I erase many. them when I use them. Yes. Cool. Yep. Cool. Um, okay. So, uh, Maggie, you are walking outside to get your stuff, right? Yes. Okay, yeah. um, as you walk outside, one of the, the younger guy from the pest control thing kind of like runs out after you and goes to the, like you're parked relatively close right, to the yeah. van. Um, and he runs out into the rain, like covering his head yeah. and runs up to the van and he's like opens the back and he's like pulling some stuff out. Okay, do I see what he's pulling out? Um, I think it, it's pretty standard like pest control stuff. There's like a little uh, uh, squirter thing and like a long like stick with a hook at the end. Okay. Um, do you want to roll me something to see if you see anything else? Yeah. Why don't you roll Investigate a Mystery? Okay. So, uh, Investigate a Mystery, um, on a 10, you hold, you get to ask two questions. On a 7 and 9, you get to ask one. And uh, if you fail, you don't get to ask any and something bad happens. And it's plus sharp. It plus is plus sharp. sharp. Okay. Yeah. I got a 10. 10, great. 10, 10. Okay, That's a great so success. you have two questions. Uh, what happened here? What sort of creature is it? What can it do? What can hurt it? Where did it go? What is going? What is it going to do? And what is being concealed here? Ooh, what is being concealed here? Ooh. Okay. Um, I think the, the guy is pulling things out of the back of this fan. Mm -hmm. um, and the door, like, swings open a little bit further than he thought it would, or maybe he just doesn't realize anyone is around. Sure. Um, and weirdly enough, there's a bookshelf in the back of this van. Okay. 
so mm. you see there's this little like squat maybe it looks like in like kind of an IKEA bookshelf okay. um, in the back uh, and there's just these big old looking books with like leather binding um, sitting in the in the back um, and once he realizes the door is open he sort of like s- like swings it closed okay then I get a second question yep um, uh... Oh, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> and I will take suggestions from my, um, my group mates here. <laughs> yeah, I mean, so there's not really a creature yeah, involved. Maybe I think what happened, what happened here, here, I was going to say. What happened yeah. here, yeah. That okay. makes sense. Um, so you see him pulling out... Uh, you see him pulling out big uh, industrial containers of salt. Interesting. Um, do these books like look like something that I would use? Yes, they do. Ah! Aha! 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 I understand. Mm-hmm. Magic. <laughs> um, and then he, I think he sort of like sees you. Yeah. Um, and like quickly gathers his stuff. Um, he puts like the salt into like a duff, and some of the other pest control supplies into like a duffel bag. Yeah. And then like books it back into the hotel. Oh, can I not get him before he leaves? I think he's too quick. I think he's oh, he's cute. he's got a job to do. All right. I'm picturing Elijah Wood in Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind. I don't know if I'm alone in that, but that is who I'm picturing. Okay. Yeah, okay. I dig that. Okay. Yeah. I dig okay. that. We're all, we're all cool with me, with me imagining that at least. Yeah, cool. no, I got it. I'm on it. Now that's how I picture him. Cool. Uh, interesting, because I was picturing Elijah Wood in that Netflix movie, the uh, the one uh, where like I uh, the I can't remember the title of it. It's really long though, hmm. and he has nunchucks, and he's really strange. <laughs> really crazy. Because I was picturing Elijah Wood from that Netflix show, which was when he his dog became like a human person. Oh yeah. Oh, that oh, was actually oh, FX. Barry. That was FX. That was yeah. FX. Yeah. yeah. That was FX. Yeah. That's that weird. Because I was actually that? picturing Elijah Wood from The Lord of the Rings. Oh wow. That's weird. Because I because I wrote Elijah wood in here but yeah. i didn't connect it to anything so just, thank you for yeah, filling yeah, yeah. in all oh, of just the elijah gaps. wood from the just world elijah wood from the world <laughs> elijah yeah. wood actor uh elijah, elijah, wood. elijah actor, wood good friend actor extraordinaire <laughs> elijah wood um, as himself <laughs> elijah wood playing elijah wood uh so uh henrietta and uh keely mm-hmm. um henrietta's just been doing laps mm-hmm. i think uh, unless anything yeah. oh, has I think, changed. So I, I did back under after you said I'm like a salmon or something. I said okay and went back under. You did hear um, mm-hmm. her walkie-talkie go off and someone just screaming obscenities for like 30 seconds. I think he, I, I listened to that for 30 seconds and then another 30 seconds pass and yeah. then I pop up and I say, what was that? I, um, I just have my walkie-talkie um, set to... Well, okay, I, I noticed they were all using walkie-talkies to talk to each other, and I, I didn't have a lot going on around here because I was the only guest for a while. So I just I went out got myself another walkie-talkie, and I uh-huh. found the channel that they all talked on so I can hear everything they say. They don't know I have this yet, so. The, 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 so the sound came from your walkie-talkie? It came from my, yeah, from, uh, from my hip. Why was that person so angry? Oh, he was—he wasn't super angry. He is upset because he like he knocked a whole bunch of stuff over. He does that. Oh one. no, I understand. When yeah. I have to walk on the land, I also do knock things over from time to time. Yeah, when you have to walk on the land. The water is my domain, and I'm—I'm I'm probably doing backstrokes now. <laughs> cool. <laughs> you know, like you know what? It really looks like it. Oh, it looks like you. the water is your domain, huh? You said your name was Keely. Keely, yeah, not Kelly. Not Kelly, of course. But I feel like if I say that too many times, you're gonna end up saying Kelly because I put it in your head. Well, now that you mention it, I do. You do look a bit like a Kelly, but I know you are Keely, and I will call you as such. Cool. You do look like a Henrietta. Thank you, thank you. Uh, what brings you to this hotel? Are you also interested in the gold-lined pool? Um. Well, no. Okay, it is interesting. Uh, Keely, this might be the first time that you are actually actively taking in the pool. Um, it doesn't look that nice, honestly. Huh. Um, it looks kind of like a standard luxury pool. Okay. I mean, um, okay. <laughs> there is, uh, there's actually some, not algae, but like pre-algae, sort of like starting to form around the edges of the pool. Mm, some mm. scum. Some scum? Mm. A little bit of scum? I, I think you notice then, um, like me just kind of like lean my head over and just like slurp up a little bit of pre-algae. And just, as we're just like talking. Oh, I'm sorry. Isn't that going to make you sick or something? Oh, no, I've been doing it for years. Wait, what did you just ask me for? 
Um, well, while I was here. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. No. Okay, so I was I I got out of college. I got I got out of university, I, and then I went back to live with my parents for a little while. But then I I wanted to get out of there. I needed to change. I needed to, and I live about um I live about four hours west of here. Oh. Um. So I was on a road trip. I was at, I was not coming here, um. But my car broke down like right outside of the hotel. And, you know, I just saw that as a sign. I was like, okay, you know what? I didn't know where I was going. I just knew I didn't need to be uh, with my parents anymore. Uh, so, uh, you know, this hotel looked kind of creepy and cool and stuff. So I, I hopped on in. It's super weird. It's a really tall building in a very small town. Uh, so that was like, very exciting for me. So I came in. I asked for a room, and they told me um, they told me something like, it's 40 bucks. And then I was like, oh, Oh. Um, every night, because I might be here for a little while, because my car broke down, and they they got me a real good deal going. So oh, that's good. So I just like ended up not fixing my car. I just been here for two months. Yes, they charged me for a room, and I only wanted to use the pool. Is that common? I mean, yeah, I'm, I think the pool is an amenity that comes with having the room. So oh. usually people don't want to just like come and swim. I mean, if you just wanted to come and swim, you'd go to the Water World down the street. Uh, but that's I will be not... hitting the Water World tomorrow. Sorry, no, it's not open this time of year. Oh. I'm real sorry. Oh, no. Well, thank you for telling me. I will not waste my time. I wasn't really thinking about that. Really, this pool shouldn't be open right now. It's far too cold. Plus, is that like pre-algae? Are you going to be okay? You can get real sick. I'm really going to be fine. <laughs> hmm. On that note, uh-huh. I would like to use... <laughs> So, um, so part of Keely is like, Let me, uh, I wonder if I'm doing something obs- weird obsessed with like mythology mm-hmm. and lore. Mm-hmm. Um, and I read about, I read about monsters and, and stuff all the time. Like in my room, it's just filled. Like I have bookshelves in a hotel room mm-hmm. filled with stuff. Like my entire car was just like, as I was like leaving and moving, I had like a little bit of clothes, a little bit of like necessities, but it was like mostly books Mm -hmm. and, and books and crystals and, um, sage and like, uh, salt and stuff like that. Um, so I do want, this is, it is, I think it is absolutely strange to see somebody slurping up algae. I think it is too. (laughs) Yeah. So I'm going to. I agree. I would like to. Um, I'd like to use a move of mine. Sure. What's your move? I've read about this sort of thing. Cool. Mm. Um, um, why so, don't you tell us what that does? So it'll. I mean, like, it doesn't. Well, okay. This is like sort of a. Maybe it doesn't make sense, but it's like roll plus sharp instead of cool, and you act under pressure. And I don't think I'm acting under pressure right now, but I just like want to. It just. Yeah. It's weird that it's called. I've read about this sort of thing, and it doesn't. Yeah. It's it's only defensive. Yeah, that's true. Well. Do Can you, I? Could this be like retroactively? Like I have a lore library in my haven, which is my my hotel yeah. room, um, that gives me a plus one forward to investigate the mystery as long as um, historical or reference works are appropriate. So if sure. I've read about sure this. Um, I can roll investigate a mystery and I get a plus one on it. I think that sounds perfectly justifiable. There okay. would definitely be things written about what I am. Mm-hmm. Cool. Okay, so I'm just going to roll investigate a mystery. Cool. <laughs> so, I'm telling you. I just picture you right There's now a... as like some sort of weird sea monkey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um... Um... <laughs> Did you roll good? Or what did you roll? Oh my gosh, with a plus one, um, and I'm using sharp. Is that mm-hmm. uh, plus one? Uh, <laughs> hold on. Oh, no. 14. <laughs> okay. I just rolled 14 to investigate a mystery. Nice. Do, do you Jonas? think they just know who I am? What I am? I think with a 14, so in Monster of the Week, technically the highest you can roll is a 12. Um, with a 14, you usually get something on top of that. So, uh, Jonas, would you like to explain what Henrietta yeah. is? And I'm going to try to explain it. <laughs> This happened so fast. I'm going to try to explain how Keely knows. So, yeah. um, first of all, you, you the algae itself doesn't tip you off. You, you, you don't think I'm a creature that is known to eat <laughs> algae specifically, but it speaks to you as, like, a, a connection with the greater bodies of sea, like the ocean uh, or the sea. Um, and, and it seems like that coupled with me saying the water is my domain, you know, you can yeah, tell Henrietta is, is some sort of water-based creature. And talking about how, like, oh, that happens to me when I walk on the land. The land, like, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, Henrietta definitely seems sort of strange. I'm sharp. Mm-hmm. That's um, my brain. 
You <laughs> also, uh, after a little while of us talking, you started to notice Henry had his very sharp teeth um, that looked kind of familiar and like animal-like, and you're kind of trying to piece that together. <laughs> um, and I think that coupled with sort of her swimming style, which isn't exactly human, it looks like she's doing a good job pretending to be human, but it's almost more flipper-like. Um, and then you notice uh, a seam <laughs> starting, like, here. Like, a very, very subtle, okay. kind of, like, on her bald head that kind of runs just down, like, the middle of her entire body, like, would be cutting her in half. Super thin, but you can see it, and you can tell that she's wearing a skin suit. Is it possible, Jonas, that when uh, that thing cut you earlier, mm-hmm. that maybe it ripped a little bit? And you follow bit. that seam down to like, like where I, I guess like the sort of like her waist, and you see it open a little bit, and you see a bit of a leopard seal's tail kind of showing through. Oh, I am a selkie. Oh, I am a selkie, which is a seal who can take the shape of a human by putting on uh, a skin suit or shedding their skin. Um, <laughs> So, so the way let's I, be with Keely for a moment. The way I see see this happening is like you're saying all this stuff and you keep slurping <laughs> algae, and like it's like cutting back like it's like kind of just a single on Keely for a second, like looking like huh, and it like cuts to like the swimming movements and like cuts back to Keely a little closer, and like looking for and it cuts back to you and you're like and I see like a little bit of a sharp tooth and it cuts back to Keely like really close and it's like <laughs> and then suddenly it's just like. <laughs> and, then, and, then it, and then it like we see like a flashback of um of keely like just flipping through a book like with a broken flat mm-hmm. screen being pulled off the wall a book of like, celtic oh, lore most okay. likely like, that's cool. fine. and just like look at flip through and like oh and then we see we see a shot of like exactly this mm-hmm. creature and it's like huh interesting well yeah, no, 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 no. and just like boom like back mm-hmm. it's like I have to go to my room. Okay, goodbye. <laughs> With that, let's cut back to Maggie. Great. So Maggie, um, Bobby has pulled out uh, one of those uh, dolly-looking things. Uh-huh. It's it's more like I think it's more like um, one of those luggage racks you see in like the movies at like oh, the yeah. Ritz. Oh sure. Like mm-hmm. the the big golden That's bars on wheels. Yeah. 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 Um, I better Bobby, be that. Okay. Bobby is uh, younger. He looks to be like between like seventeen and nineteen. Um, he's got an- uh, acne and like a peach fuzz mustache and dark messy hair. Um, and uh, he is um, uh, Afro Latin or Afro Latinx. Uh-huh. Um, and uh, he kind of wheels this thing out to you, and he's like, "Hey, uh, I got your thing." He's like still wiping the dust off of it, See, like from like where it was in storage. Does I got it look beat up, or is he like? It looks no. It it seems to be in pretty good condition. No, I meant him. From oh, him? Yeah. Oh, yeah. He's okay. he's definitely got like a like a wound on one side of his head. Good. Um, and he looks a little like dazed. Mm. Like he keeps he's like blinking like. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Thanks. And then I was pile. Like, I don't really care too much about it. Yeah. I'm just going to pile all my stuff onto it. Do you need me to, like, wheel it or... I, I mean... Listen, uh, he's, like, looks over and makes sure Shelly's not, like, watching. He's like, I don't know how this works. Like, I'm I'm not supposed to be a bellhop. They fired all the bellhops. What's your job? I'm housekeeping. Wh- I just what? do odd jobs. That's the only place to work here. All right. I mean, like, I'm not going to give you a tip or anything, but, well, like... okay. I mean, go... I mean, like... I don't so have I'm that. Not, I'm going to go then. I'm... Cool. Bye. Bye. And he, like, runs back into the administrative offices. <laughs> I don't, I'm just going to, like, annoy to push the thing myself. Um, I think you get into the elevator yeah. uh, right about the moment that uh, uh, Keeley's elevator dings at the lobby. God damn it. Okay. <laughs> uh, so, so the door... Cannot o- catch a break. The door's open on... Oh, hey. Oh, hey. Are you going up? I'm, I'm hitting seven. You going up? Are you going up? <laughs> yeah, yeah, going I am. Right huh? cool. Yeah. Oh, whew. and the doors like close. Uh, okay, all right, all right. Uh, ding, ding. Oh, you're you're not gonna. Oh, I can't believe. Whew. Why don't you both Ooh-wee. roll me? Read a bad situation. <laughs> okay. Okay. Read a bad situation. Bad situation. So. Okay. Oh, that's plus sharp. Yes! <laughs> I love my sharp brain. Oh, I'm so I'm so brainy. It's an 11 for me. An 11? Okay, yeah. wonderful. Oh, snap, I got an 8. An 8? 
Okay. So on a 10 plus, you get to hold three, and on a seven and nine, you hold one. That means uh, Maggie gets to ask three questions, and uh, uh, Keely gets to ask one. So why don't we start with Keely's question? I think the first thing on, um, or Keely's question, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, sorry, Keely's question. That was very in character. <laughs> that, was, uh, I, that was fantastic. Well played. <laughs> sorry. Travel. Okay, hold one. Um, so the questions are, what's, what's my best way in? What's my best way out? Are there any dangers we haven't noticed? Hmm. What's the biggest threat? What's most vulnerable to me? And what's the best way to protect the victims? Are there any dangers we haven't noticed? <laughs> uh, <laughs> Good question. <laughs> Keely, I, I think you are sort of overwhelmed with the realization that there is a mythical being in the pool. I keep I keep tapping the seven. The... Um, and I think you are like, you are like, like kind of like looking around the elevator like trying to make sure you're not in a dream sort of thing and you see that there is a panel on the top of the elevator that is slightly out of place hmm. um, and then you feel a quick tug on the back of your head almost like someone is like pulling at a hair wow um, and you look over, and Maggie's Maggie. It doesn't look like it was Maggie, mm -hmm. probably. Um, like you're not entirely sure what it was. Yeah, Maggie. Hey, what do you want to ask? Sorry about the thing before. I no would love <laughs> no. to ask because I'm sure this is the first thing on Maggie's mind. Mm -hmm. uh, what's my best way out? <laughs> uh, you you know that uh, your best way out is the doors you came in through. Okay. I am going to say, because you're spending one of your questions on this, yeah. there is a, a hatch on the top of the elevator that you also notice to be slightly open. Right. Hmm. And it just so happens that you see something snaking through that hatch and pulling back out of the elevator. God. It looks to be a human hand. What's your second question? Okay. Um, my second question is, um, well, I mean, I, I can probably figure out what the biggest threat is. Uh, I mean, you're one of the victims. Yeah. What's the best way to protect the victims? Um, getting out of the elevator. Right. Okay. Uh, <laughs> and... As quickly as possible. Um, what is most vulnerable to me? The, the hand disappears for a second. Yeah. And you're sort of like still watching that space. Um, and you start to see fingers creeping over the edge of the panel. Mm -hmm. And then suddenly the, an arm like curls around the edge of the thing mm -hmm. and it's it looks like a human hand like it looks human but going up the wrist are these segmentations so it, it, it can bend in on itself all the way and snake in all of these terrifying directions and it's making its way for your head great can i act and do something yes please do great I am going to pull out my wand from my bag. Okay. And I am going to use a missile. Use magic. Use a a magic missile. missile. Magic missile. Okay. Um, so which is right, automatically right, right, hits. About to happen, I want to be like, oh, turn. you see that panel? <laughs> <laughs> uh, why don't you use, use magic? Okay. Okay. Um, Dang. I'm rolling well. Wow. Um, 11. 11. Damn. Okay. So on a 10 plus, the magic works without issue. Choose your effect. So what effect are you trying to have happen? Uh, There's the, the list of effects right. under use magic. It's um, uh, here. Back page. This one. There you go. Thank you. Sorry. Um, uh, I want to, can I banish the thing? Is it a, is uh, yeah. it a spirit? Okay. Okay. Uh, I, I think banishment will work for this. Okay. So uh, you whip out your wand, and what do you do? I mean, there are things that you 
need to do. Yes. Um, you the one you chose not to have to use is consumables. Right. Which means you need to say something, uh, use something, and I forget what the last one is. Is it like semantics? Um, I have I have the foci, and then I have a gesture, and then I have things I have to say. Okay. So what does that look like? Uh, um, um, get out of here. Okay. <laughs> and you, yeah. you sort of like twirl your wand. Get out of here. Point it at the hand. Yeah. Um, <laughs> the, uh, what are you doing in my house? Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out. Of here. Oh. Um, get out. Uh, you your ass in a major way. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, uh, enough. <laughs> the hand melts. Um, and it turns into this like clear liquid that mm. like oozes down the side of the elevator and quickly Gross. evaporates. Okay. Do I see this? Nope. So I'm like, I'm just like not paying attention or No, you are looking exactly where this would happen. And I can't see it. You don't see anything. Okay. You just see me go, get out of here. <laughs> the ceiling, basically. You might have you might have thought Maggie was talking to you. It's possible. That's what I was. She thinking. wasn't looking at you, Aww. but. But she could have been telling you where to get out from. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah. Bing. So, the door's open. <laughs> uh, and I'm gonna see my, I'm gonna hold uh, my arm over over it so it doesn't close, uh, so that you can wheel out your your luggage. Um, I'm gonna do that very slowly. All right. Um, so, were you were you trying to show me that the the hatch was open? Like, do you have a wand? What is that? Uh, God, all right, come over here, and I'm just gonna wheel the thing with me too. Uh, yeah, and I'll just start following like immediately. Okay, Henrietta. <laughs> yeah. What are you doing? I think at this point I've kind of stopped my swimming for a little bit, so I'm okay. just like. I, I have a, a cup that I pulled out of my luggage bag, which is still sitting in that same spot. Uh-huh. Um, and I'm just like leaning up against like the bars, submerged from the collar down, collarbone down, um, and just like filling up the cup of water and drinking it. And when it's empty, doing that again, just okay. from the pool. Mm. Um, the elevator dings open, uh, and two people walk out. Uh, there is an older looking guy um, in a, a white pest control suit and a, a really young guy who might maybe look like Elijah Wood a little from bit. a variety of television and film productions. <laughs> cool. I don't know that Henrietta has seen an Elijah Wood movie, so I wouldn't really register to her. Perfect. Uh, uh, they walk out and the older guy says, hey, get out of the pool. Oh, no, it's okay. You got to get out. I, I am actually quite You have to leave. You. No, 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 no. I, I paid to be here. You have to get out of the pool. No. Get out of the pool. <laughs> I'm just going to stand up, like, out of the water, and just, like, open my mouth bigger than I have been and just say, no, I'm swimming. I'm going to fall face forward and just start swimming. Uh, I will say when you do that, he does not seem phased at all. Cool. Hey, uh, Selkie, get the fuck out of the water. <laughs> I'll, I'll finish my lap and then go past him and then stop and just, like, go on my back. My name is Henrietta. I don't know what you mean. Listen, we're not here for you. Get out of the water right now so we can do our job. Henrietta will stand up in the water, walk over to where her cup was and pick it up, fill it up one more time and chug it, stand up and walk over. Is he standing near my stuff right now? Uh, I think he's just standing just outside the elevator. Cool. Um, like there's, I picture there's a little atrium sort of area that he's just outside of. Cool. Um, I'm gonna, so I'm gonna grab my things and just like walk over, probably a little bit slowly. Okay. Um, and then like stop and look back sadly at the pool, um, and then walk out of the pool room, and I'm going to hand the person coming out of the pool my my luggage bag and my uh, shawl and say, please show me to my room. I'm happy to oblige. We're not your fucking housekeeping. Get in the elevator. Okay. And I, and I walk into the elevator. Um, I walk up to the elevator. I look back. Is he following me? Nope. But he is staring at you. Cool. Um, please, bring my things with me. Martin, you got this? And he turns to the younger guy. Martin's like, yeah, um, can, you, can you do this alone? Or, uh, and the older guy's like, yeah, I, I do it alone. I flash Martin a, a smile and say, it's okay. I'll make sure he's safe. Yeah. 
Uh, Martin grabs your stuff um, mm. and gets into the elevator beside you. Um, cool. Now that you are Martin's sort of coming. up close to mm -hmm. this guy, Martin is the younger one. Younger guy. one, gotcha, yeah. gotcha, cool. Um, My bad. It is going to get confusing because the mm -hmm. older guy's name is Marty. Yeah. Marty! Uh, <laughs> I mean, we've got uh, three Sams on stream in a certain <laughs> way, so. Marty. If if you, the way I remember it is Martin sounds like it should be the older person, but it's mm -hmm. the younger guy, and Marty sounds like it should be the younger oh, guy. Oh, yeah, it's like Healy and Kelly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Martin gets in the elevator with all of your stuff, um, cool. and now that you can see him up close, he looks so fucking tired. Mm. Mm. He looks just exhausted, I, like I, deep, I, like like bags under his eyes that are not from, not from like a bad night of sleep. They're from like a bad year of sleep. Mm -hmm. um, I think I uh, I just like put my hand on his face, like the side of his face, just fingers together, and I say, "You look exhausted." You should hey, get some sleep, Martin. Yeah, I I know, but like we got a job to do. So, are we going up to your room or what? Yes. Are you gonna push? Okay. He reaches over and pushes. What what floor are you on? Um, seven hundred and nine. Floor seven. He pushes seven. Okay. Um, the elevator starts going up. Um, uh, Martin, may I ask you a question? Yeah. Your uh, older friend called me. Selkie, which is not my name. What did he mean? Well, that's... I mean, that's what... You're like a seal person, right? <gasps> oh, no. No, of course not. <laughs> what are you, then? I am but a woman in an elevator with a man. Saying okay. hello and being kind. Come on. We, we both know that's not true. Oh, but, but I, I just said it, and I, and I would tell you if I was lying. Okay, whatever. I mean, look, it's not my... We're not here for you, so it's, like, not my place. What are you here for? Clearly not the pool. We have some stuff we need to do. Well, we all have stuff we need to do. What is yours? Mine is to swim, which okay, is being rubbed listen, for me. Listen, I'm, I'm, I'm too tired for questions right now. Can we just, like... I just... I, I gotta get back to, like, this is really a two-man job, and you're taking one of the two men away. Okay. So, like... Okay. Um, you get up to the seventh floor, and he like makes sure that you have left the elevator, and mm -hmm. then clicks the cool the thing back. And I'll take my thing from him at that point. Cool. Um, I'm just gonna look around and see if I can find my room. He he kind of like Points. the elevator starts to close, and then he like reaches out and stops it. And he's like, "Hey, um, yes, I'll come warn you when we're done with the pool if you want." Please. Okay. I miss it already. Cool. And he lets the door close. Cool. Um, I'm going to find my room. Okay. Um, your room is number 709. It is. Uh, it is next door to Keeley's room. Cool. And I've um, not met Keeley yet. You have not. I wrote Kelly on the sheet. <gasps> I wrote Kelly on my sheet. Why did I do that? I must have written it while, no. I was, while we were having that conversation or something. <laughs> oh, no. That's weird. Um, did, you, did you just say you haven't met Ke Keeley yet? Yeah, I, 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 I have met, met Keeley. I've met Maggie. I saw Kelly, and I was like, I haven't met that person. <laughs> um, sorry, yes, I met Keeley. Gotcha, um, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, yeah. Can I just um, put out there that I personally, Sam, really love Henrietta a lot. Me too. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, Henry is great. <laughs> so Keely's cool too. Keely and Keely and Maggie. <laughs> What's going on? Um, we well, I was going back to my room with my so, things, and mm -hmm. I was like telling her, okay, so listen, I don't know if you noticed there was a thing in there, no, um, like like a seal person. What? <laughs> no. no, not like a seal. <laughs> All person. right, okay. What? All right. Why did he even stop to talk to you? I'm no, wait, 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 wait. Um, okay, no, tell, tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me, what, why do you have a magic wand? Is it magic wand? Well, don't worry about... Do you just really like Harry Potter? No. Okay. <laughs> no, I don't just really like Harry Potter. Okay, cool. I, I like, love it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you, I'll tell you a thing if you tell me a thing. What is your thing? The fact that you think there's a seal person here because you already told me that. I didn't. I that's I didn't explicitly say that. But yeah. <laughs> yes, I do think there is a seal person here. Why? Why do you think that? Okay. Well. Um. Uh. And if we're you know, we pass by my room on the way to her room, right? Yes. I'm like, well, hold on, hold on, hold on. And I go to my room and I like use my key card and open it up and I open it up and you just see books all over my room, just oh. like thrown about. Like they're on the bed. 
they're like they're on bookshelves they're on the floor it's just everywhere it's like okay so i kind of oh wait sorry hold on and i go down and i dust some salt to the side uh from in front of the doorway uh doorway and then like i reach up uh above the the door and i pull some sage down from the top there um i'm like okay all right um there so i'm i'm really i'm really into lore and mythology and that kind of stuff. But sure. here's the thing. I thought it was all like fake stuff. But I think I th- I, lo- I genuinely, okay, you know that big person that came in? Uh-huh. Uh, um, did I see that person? You like probably glanced them as you were getting into the elevator. Yeah. The one that went like this? You, you right. Did, yeah. <laughs> right. You, you don't, like, you know vaguely who okay. Keely's talking about. Sure. Okay. So I went and had a conversation with her. Mm-hmm. Um, and while, while we was talking, she... She started uh, drinking up the water in the pool and, and slurping up some pre-algae and doing some other stuff. And then I noticed she had, I know she had these like big, big sharp teeth. And I noticed she had, um, she had this like seam that went down uh, all the way back uh, on her, on her, on her, on her big, 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 big bald body. And, and then there was this, there was this little like, like someone had tugged, had tugged at like a string on a seam and, and yeah. tore a part open. And there was. Leopard. Don't you feel like? Here's the thing. If this was real. Don't you feel like someone would have noticed that, like as she was walking in? No, but no. Okay, it was very, it was very inconspicuous. But you said there was a seam on her. It was very, it was very difficult to see. Mm -hmm. I just like I, I was looking for it though. Okay. Because, like, I've read about this stuff. Nobody else reads about this stuff. Everybody's like, oh, that's for... I went to university for mythology. I would... That's, like, this has been my thing. And finally... Well, Maggie, right? Yeah. That's paying off. It's paying off, Maggie. I just I just met a, a, a what I believe to be a, 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 an embodiment of some sort of a leopard seal, a, a selkie. Okay. Like, okay, hold on. And I go over and I grab a book and I, like, I flip over, open the pages in front of it. Maggie's like, right there. Right there. Right there. That's a silky, and that's um. This it's like a leopard seal, but uh-huh. it can like it puts on. Look at this passage right here. It puts on freaking skin, uh, like a skin suit, and it can look like a person. And don't you think? Don't you think a person would be real big if they were a leopard seal? I think so. I mean, I don't know. I've never seen a leopard seal before, but maybe I've never seen one in person either. I don't make it out to the coasts, but <laughs> um. But okay. all right. Tell me your thing now. Okay. Come on. Come on. I never told you I was going to tell you a thing. Oh, but I told you a thing, and I, you were supposed to tell me. Yeah, but we didn't, like, shake on it or anything. That's a good so. point. I hold out my hand. <laughs> I don't take it. <laughs> all right. Okay. Um, don't you think it's kind of weird how, like, you have all these books and salt, and, like, those guys downstairs with the suits have salt and a bunch of books? They what? They have a bunch of salt and books. What guys? The dudes in the suits, the white suits. The pest control? Yeah, those guys. Have salt and books? Uh-huh. Where? <laughs> in their van, like where they put all of their things. They have salt and books in their van? Yeah. Um, I definitely think that's weird. Yeah, I just think that's interesting. Oh, my God. They're here to kill the silky. I, well, I don't know, because there was also the thing in the elevator. What's that? <laughs> was it a seal person? No. <laughs> Uh, I think, I think, I, are you, are you two in Keeley's room? We're right, the door's open. The door's, the door's open. open, door's cool. open, yeah. Uh, I think the elevator dings open, uh, and Henrietta, you're on mm-hmm. your floor. Cool. And, and I, I get my stuff, and we, I have a little conversation with the young Elijah Wood. Um, <laughs> I sort of, like, turn tank, like, towards my room, and I see it, I'm like, hello. Is 709 near you, Keeley? And I like poke poke out a little bit. Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's right. It's actually right next to me. Oh, the big lady. Oh, thank you. Yeah, yeah. The big lady. I start walking just towards them. Hey. Hello. Hey. And I walk past them and oh. I go up to my room, and I and I try to open it and it is of course locked. Yeah. You got to use the key card. Oh, okay. And I will start opening up my luggage, and find my pants. It'll take a second. <laughs> okay. And I lean over to Maggie. This is it. The, okay. Look at look at the. There's a seam. There's a same. Look at Did the I same. see anything like that? <laughs> uh, why don't you roll investigate a mystery? Okay. And I will say, so I said I was wearing a one-piece swimsuit, so probably mm-hmm. that got torn. And that like yeah. that and my seam got torn. So that's how it's visible right around the tailbone. Uh investigate a mystery? Mm-hmm. Sure. That is 
An eight. An eight. So on a seven to nine, hold one. You get to ask me one question. What happened here? What sort of creature is it? What can it do? What can hurt it? Where did it go? What was it going to do? Or what is being concealed here? What sort of creature is it? Uh, I think as you turn, yeah. uh, as as you mm -hmm. like, maybe bend mm -hmm. over to uh, adjust mm -hmm. your, or to pick up your luggage or mm -hmm. something to like get, that. Get my pants out of there. The seam splits just a little bit more, and you feel it. Is. Oh, and I'll, I'll turn to you, but not before. Sorry, I have popped my swimsuit. Well, that wasn't. The swimsuit stops here. It you is okay. Right, it's, huh? it's fine. It is fine. It's fine. That was a seam. Key card. On a person. Yep. Door. I'm going to open the door. Okay. I'm going to go inside. Yep. I'm going to hey. close the door. The door closes. <laughs> all, right. All, right. all right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Well, our, okay. Do First think, question. Okay. Yep. Are selkies dangerous? Um, are they? Some of them. In some stories, yes. Not most. Not most. Not most. Not most. Okay, not yeah. most, but sometimes. Uh, from, more what, from what or, I've read. Yeah. More or less dangerous than a creepy segmented hand? You know I'm going to roll lore. Do it. <laughs> you know it. Do it. Okay. Um, so I guess Do that'll that be roll. investigate a mystery. Yeah. And I ha literally I'm in my room, so I'm like, I'm like wait a minute, wait a minute. Um, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to add a plus one to this. Cool. Um, using my library. Do that dang roll. Um, so that's going to be an eight. An eight on Investigate a Mystery? Yeah. So on a seven and nine, you get to hold one. Um, what sort of creature is it? Cool. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Keely, you have read every book there is on mythology. Mm -hmm. Literally any book that that even barely mentions mythology. I know this GM move. You're about to tell me I don't know what this is. You can't find <gasps> oh, that no. kind of thing in your books. And you know for a fact that means that it's something mighty weird. Um At least oh, a, plus four. a segmented hand? Yeah. Um, kind of like a weird. All right. Okay. I know. I like know. Those toys that are like snakes. Um, and okay. Like the wooden. All right. Oh yeah. Yeah. Actually, yes. Exactly. Um, like wait, that. Yeah. Um, wait, okay. So this? I know. Oh, no. <laughs> I know like the hand. Okay. I know like the hand from the Adams family. Yeah. Um, There's know, definitely like, like things that can, like, project their hands out like that, but none of them are human, or none of them can appear human. Yeah. Um, While well, well, Mr. Fantastic, I'm throw my uh, stuff into my room as we're waiting. Okay. Um. I don't. I don't know. I don't know. I thought you were the lore master. Okay, I never called myself that, <laughs> but I do appreciate it. Um, mm -hmm. No, um, I have no idea. Well, do you know anything about... Why aren't you freaking out? There's a seal who's a person... Like, like, I don't know. You seem very calm to have just seen a segmented hand in an elevator. Well, like... <gasps> Did it pull my hair? Yeah. I think I don't know. Did I see that happen? Probably. You you didn't see it happen. Okay. Yeah. But uh, you know that that hand was going for your head okay. when you saw it. Okay. So it tracks. It. I mean, it tried to grab my head. So probably. Oh, they better not clone me. <laughs> Is that possible? <laughs> I don't know, but that suddenly a lot of things are possible. I mean, yeah. Like I don't. I don't know. What you? What were you trying to do? Why'd you pull out a magic wand? Are you a witch? I mean, holy shit! I guess technically, yeah. <laughs> Damn. Well, like not like what people usually refer to when they're like, "Oh, are you a witch?" Like I'm not like out there in the woods with like moonlight and crystals. Like I'm doing. I magic. I push my crystals away. <laughs> to the side. Like yeah, that's all. Uh, Henrietta, yes. What are you doing inside of your room? Uh, I have drawn a bath. Okay. Uh, I I dropped my luggage. <laughs> And my cloak right in front of the door, and I walk straight into the bathroom. Um, oh. The door, I assume, locks on its own card-wise, but yes. I didn't think to lock the, like, latch latch mm -hmm. um, or to close the bathroom door. Sure. Um, I think, so the bathrooms of these hotel rooms are lined up, and they're right inside of the door. Okay. So I think, um, like, actually, like it would be there like is, like, the a, side there's I... a heating vent. Um, up at the top of the bathroom, mm -hmm. and you are hearing very faintly this cool. conversation. Okay, so so I know at this point that Keely has identified me as a Selkie, has told Maggie. I hear all of that yes. roughly. Okay, cool. Um, 
I think then I will like kind of lean out of the tub and reach over and like slap the door shut. Oh, Bring like, kind of get my <laughs> get around the handle. The, the bathroom door. Oh, okay. Yeah. The bathroom door. So the bathroom door is now shut. Cool. Mm. Is there a lock on a bathroom door? Yeah, I think probably. I'll lock it. Cool. How loud of a slam was that? Not a loud slam, but m- probably like. Boom. Mm-hmm. All I'm saying is I'm used to like weird things, so it's not like. Like, a sulky, like, that's really weird. Like, I'm not used to that. But, like, you know, I'm just, like, why would I judge? Yeah. Yeah? I, I suppose. Okay. I mean, I'm, I guess I'm not judging. I'm just, like... I feel like it's a little, because you're assuming that she's going to be dangerous just because she's a sulky. What, well, are you going to assume that I'm going to cast a little curse on you, too? No. I, I yeah. mean, would you? No. I, even if I asked? No, especially if you asked. Yes. <laughs> um... Oh, I'm also, I'm eating right now, Sam. Cool. Uh, the water starts draining out of the tub that you're in. Oh, no, 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 no. I turn the water on. Okay. Um, if you look down, I assume you, like, go to try to close the, the little, um. Yeah, I'll try to, like, cover it with the, uh, it's open. The, like, the drain? Mm Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, in fact... The little thing that was plugging it up is like now floating on the top of the bath. Um, mm-hmm. Can I just try to like put that back where it goes? Sure. Uh, you feel some resistance, and then suddenly you feel a hand on you. Five I, fingers. I bite, it. I bite it. Well, hang on. Okay. And you feel it start to burn. And you see the water in your bath start to boil. And you are going to take two harm. Okay. Um, well, I'm gonna I'm gonna respond to the same. You can't just yeah. do this. No, no, not, I, to, not, to, not to act back. So okay, I'm the gonna water do something in your about tub it. is yeah, boiling. The door is yes. locked. Um, um, and you have felt something coming up through the drain. Cool. So I'm going to. I'm going to uh, this hand. Am I in intimate range with it? Oh yeah. I would say yes. <laughs> I would like to, since I am surrounded by water, um, I would like to do life drain on this hand. Excellent. Okay. So basically, like the water that's like it's starting to heat up and is the water it's starting to starting bubble? Starting to boil. Starting to boil. Yeah. Um. So I'm like kind of trying to like, clamber out, which is very yeah. awkward for me right now. Yeah. Um. Because I was just eating. Right. Um. And of uh, and um. So I kind of clamber out, and as I do, I want to just like put one of my arms uh, into the water. And like suck some water out of this hand and do okay. the life drain thing. Yeah. Um, so why don't you roll kick some ass? Kick some ass. I get to add weird instead of tough. Fighting. I'm excited. That is a ten. A ten. Ooh. Okay. Oh, so good. on a ten plus, choose one extra effect. You gain the advantage. Takes plus one forward or give plus one forward to another hunter. You inflict terrible harm, which is plus one harm. You suffer less harm, which is minus one harm, or you force them where you want them. So if I inflict terrible harm, I get two back and deal two. Mm-hmm. I'm going to do that. Okay. Which means I'm back to normal. Great. Um, you recover immediately, mm-hmm. and there is a splash as something whips out of the water. And there is also a metallic clang as the vent at the top of the uh, uh, on the roof, a bit like this one that mm-hmm. nobody in the audience can see, um, <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, falls to the ground. Um I would like to, I obviously can't fit in there, as you can see. Um, <laughs> so I, I would like to, um, I want st- to, so I've clambered out of the tub. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm going to finish my meal. Um, okay, quickly, I assume. Quickly, just okay. shovel it in, um, and then I will stand okay. um, and uh, get out of the room. But as I do, I would like to, I don't know if I want to investigate a mystery. I want to investigate a mystery and... Uh, on like that grate and see what's going on there. Okay, um, I need you. Uh, what roll can I? Uh, no, actually, I'm not even gonna make you roll. Something grabs your leg, okay, and starts pulling you back into the bathroom, and you can feel your leg starting to heat up. Okay, now um, your human leg starting to heat up. Um, I look over at my big luggage bag and I look back at my leg, um, and I would like to twist my body and bite whatever's grabbing me. Okay, uh, roll kick some ass. Kicking some ass. Are you ass. making a lot of sound? 
Yes. Okay, cool. Like, when I was like, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, that was very loud. The two of you hear splashing mm -hmm. and then something big and heavy kind of like hit the floor. Mm -hmm. And then you hear, oh, oh no, oh no, oh no. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. A lot of horrible slurping sounds. slurping sounds. And you hear, oh no, oh no, oh no. Yep. And then you hear, rah, 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 rah. Uh, and then uh, I bite for eight. Okay, so on a 7 plus, you and whatever you're fighting inflict harm on each other. The amount of harm is based on the established dangers of the game. So, you are going to take two fire harm. Okay. Um, and you are going to inflict, uh, what is uh, your fight? Three harm. Three harm. So, you are totally fine. Cool. Um, but, uh, you feel your fangs sink into something. <sighs> But there's nothing there. I, I don't care. I feel it. I'm, I'm still biting. Okay. Biting. It's it is like whipping back and forth around the room, like trying. To, mm -hmm. It's it's it is actually picked you up off the ground by your mouth mm -hmm. and is like whipping you against the ground and trying to mm -hmm. get you to fall off. And now this has become a full scale like mm -hmm. like boom boom mm -hmm. against yeah. boom. And you're probably hearing seal noises too. We probably. <laughs> Right, we probably should check that out. Uh huh. Yeah, I'm gonna. Um, I'm just gonna grab some like quick like stuff to just monstrous things. <laughs> like uh, s doors down the hallway are starting to open. Um, I'm gonna. I'm gonna get out and I'm gonna go to. I'm just gonna go to Henrietta's door. Okay. Yeah. Me too. Uh. And, so. Uh, and I'm gonna. I'm. Uh, sorry. Hold on. One thing. Sure. Um, I'm going to use my move uh, preparedness and I'm going to pull out. Uh, this is what I'm hoping for here. I'll make the roll first. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, so I got a 10. So uh, what is preparedness? On a 10 do? plus, you have... Uh, um, so, preparedness. When you need something unusual or rare, roll plus sharp. On a 10 plus, you have it right now. I pull out the master key card for the, of the hotel. Yes, you I, do. I've made a copy. Absolutely. And I, and I open Henrietta's door. Awesome. <laughs> Ding! The door opens to chaos. There is a, a large human woman being, like... It just looks like she's flying around the room, sort of, and, like, banging into doors mm -hmm. and things. Also... Um, except... Yes. For you, yes. Maggie. Yes, okay. You see a human-segmented arm that Henrietta is, gra is bitten down on. Yeah. And it extends all the way... It's kind of sort of in, like, the, like the main bedroom area. Like, it's, the fight has gotten all the way to there. It extends all the way back into the bathroom, and as you peek in the bathroom door, down the drain. Or no, I'm sorry, into the, the vent at the top of the room. You see another hand um, sort of like slinking, being pulled back down into the drain. You also see a leopard seal pelt just like draped over the side of the bathtub. Great. Okay. A, le a leopard seal pelt? Yes. Mm -hmm. Draped over the bathroom. Did you shed your skin? Uh, so th this this happened off camera. I think it, it'll once we're out of actual combat, I yeah. will do something that will explain probably what is going on. But this is what you see right now. Okay. They have different suits. I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. would know this. Yeah. Uh, You're an expert. It's yeah. <laughs> what do you two do? I'm going to attack the thing. And I go and I go. Hey, I'm going to attack. Okay. The thing. How are you going to attack it? I'm going to use magic on it. I'm cool. going to um, do a nice necromantic blast at it. Sweet. Fuck yeah. Right. Uh, okay. Um, Meanwhile, the this person is being like like I think you slam against a door frame. Mm -hmm. I think like all of the stuff on the bathroom counter has been like swept off, so there's like shattered glass everywhere. Mm -hmm. um, what did you roll, Maggie? So do I add plus the weird and also because I'm practitioner add another one? Yeah, if oh. you're using well, it depends. Not if you're using that necromantic thing. The practitioner only affects banishment and whatever the other one was you chose. Got it. Okay, yes. never mind then. So I got a uh, ten. A ten. Yeah. So on a ten plus, um, it works how you think it does. I believe yes. On a works ten plus, magic issues. works without issue. So choose your effect. So blast is two harm. Blast. Okay. Um, you really. I mean, what does this look like? <laughs> I have to do a sound yeah. too, right? Oh yeah. <laughs> Bam. <laughs> and this, she, she kind of, she wait, kind wait. of goes. Uh, if we have any viewers who want to turn that into a gift, that'd be. <laughs> <laughs> Bam. Um, you you see Maggie Keeley. You see Maggie go. 
bam, and this huge burst of energy blows out of the end of the wand and slams into the hand as it is like like swinging Henrietta back, and it just cricks like that and like snaps in the middle like a spine, and just uh, the one end is like dragging back now. I don't see You see that, none of this. Yeah, yeah. Maggie sees all of this. Uh-huh. Uh, it just like snaps in half like a toothpick, and the one end is like hanging down, and uh, uh, Henrietta, you drop to the floor. Cool. Uh, for one harm. All right. Um, the hand quickly like swings around and like slaps its thing against the doorway and then gets pulled back into the vent. Mm. Well, that worked out, I guess. Did you kill her? Who? You shot a beam at Henrietta. I like, kind of crawl up a little bit off the ground. Oh. And I look over at you two and I'm like, hi. I'm going to crawl into the room and grab the leopard seal pelt and just start eating it. I'm gonna I'm gonna go into the hallway. Mm. Wait, uh, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> I see that for a second, and then I go into the hallway. Uh, there are people that are like starting to like come out of their rooms. Yeah, I'm just gonna poke out. Um, there's one person in particular. Uh, this uh, this is a, a trans man. He's wearing a, a like a Hawaiian shirt. Um, and he like like pokes his head out of the door. He's like, "Hey, uh, what what's what's going on? Is there like someone? Do you what's going? Yeah, I poked out of the way. Oh, sorry, I broke another TV. Oh, oh, and hey, I, do hey, I, Keely. <laughs> hey, do um, I hear that? Yeah. Can I shout something? Yeah. We're just having an orgy. Don't worry about it. George, uh, you know this to be George Montgomery, um, with a J, uh, yeah. and George, uh... Like two J's, like, or J or... No, J-E-O-R-G-E. <laughs> okay. Um, and George sort of is like, uh, okay, uh, Keely, just, like, get, just fucking keep it down, please. Um, and he steps back into his room and shuts the door. Um... The oh. other person, uh, is out... You, you sort of turn... Um, and there's another person in the hallway. Um, and this is like a, a sort of like ratty looking guy. Like he has like a like a ponytail that is way too short. Um, he's like just has his hair pulled back, but it's not long enough to really be a ponytail. Um, and he's sort of like, can I, uh, can I, uh, <laughs> oh my God. you know this, you know this to be Henry Sweezel. Henry Sweezel. Um, um, he is wearing a big, um, shirt that, uh, has, you know those shirts that you can, like, make yourself, like, you laminate the thing onto it? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's one of those, and it just says, VacuCon 2017. Um. <laughs> is it spelled, like, vacuum? Yeah. Yeah. Um. Awesome. And he's, it, it's like, it's like maybe, like, a size too big for him, and he's like, so, uh, her... Yeah, um, right. women only, and I'm gonna close the door. Oh come on, come on! I, he's like, he's like, he's like coming up to the door. He's like, wait, hey, wait, I'm, I'm, I'm cool. Aww. Uh, and then he, he like realizes that he's not getting in, and sort of like slinks back to his room. Um, um what I, is I, happening inside the room? So I finish eating my pelt, and then I put my swimsuit back on. Okay. Um, I will say, and Keely would know this, Selkies do not generally eat the pelt. That is not a thing. It's actually common. They, they would like, stash it somewhere, and sailors would often like take them and hold them hostage. Um, so this is not a normal Selkie thing that Keely is doing with the eating or having a seal pelt itself. Normally it's a seal with a human skin only, um, donning and doffing. So this, this would strike you as abnormal. Um, so I'll just come back in the room. Yeah, are you okay? I'm I'm fine. Um, oh. you saw. Yeah, the weird thing. thing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Um, there are some here. Uh, you ha- did not see. No. Yeah. Anything that okay. No, but, but I know. But 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 what she saw, I think, was me acting fairly strange and just eating a seal suit. So like, oh, I know. Okay. That's Understand. what I mean by the whole yes. thing. Gotcha. What I was doing. Yeah. Oh. Um. I'm sorry, I was attacked by a foe. Um, I tried to devour it and did not go so. Okay. Yeah, sure, that makes sense. My name is Henrietta. Hey, I'm Maggie. Hello, Maggie. Hey. Thank you for your help. You said boom? Is that what I heard? No, I said bang. Bang. Yeah, like Emerald. Um, 
It was wonderful. Yeah. I felt a blast of air, and, and then I was freed. Great. And I appreciate this. Well, you're welcome. I'm glad that you didn't get... I don't know what it was going to do to you. Take well, it, to it did a number. <laughs> um, you see... Uh, so you're still in your human suit. I am now back in my human suit. Okay. So when I said I was eating before, I was in the bath as a seal. Right. Um, yes. Yes. So your seal, do your seal self and your human skin, mm -hmm. do injuries carry over? Between I think so, those? yeah. Okay. So basically, yeah, yeah. And so, and, yeah. so here's uh, what you see. You see a big hand burn mark on Henrietta's side um, that is like quickly disappearing. Like, it's like, and then suddenly her, her skin is back to normal. You see the hand thing I was talking about? Uh, um, okay, I see the hand mark. Yeah. Or, okay, all right. Um, I didn't see anything else, though. I really didn't. No, I didn't either, but I felt it with my teeth. I didn't. Uh... Oh, both of you can't see it? Well, you can. Useful. So See you what? saw. What, what, did, what you did you see? Yeah, it, I told you already. It's oh, this it's this weird segmented hand thing, and it went up into the vent. And right that as you say that, exist. and right as you say that, Maggie, yeah, you feel a sharp pain. Oh no! On the back of your head. Oh no! Feeling like someone has plucked out a hair. Are you okay? Do I see? Can I turn around and see it? <laughs> you turn around. Yeah. And you don't see anything. Oh. Oh, okay. So. Ow. Um. Are you okay? No, so you said earlier that it plucked your hair out, and you're like, oh, I hope it doesn't clone me. Guess what just happened to me? Oh, Great. oh, I felt a tug in the pool when I first began to swim. Oh. But, are, like, did you get, like, a hair pulled out or anything? No, I have no hair on my body. Hmm. How? Are monsters real? I don't know. It seems as such. Oh, shit. I can tell you that you are not the only creatures who live here. Oh, man. It seems monsters are also real. My car broke down. I was meant to find this. I'm here. You are oh. happy about this, it seems? I mean, I know so much about this stuff. I, but I've never had that for first-hand experience. And I, I think uh, in order to be a, uh, an actual expert on something, you got to have first-hand experience. And until this point, I didn't think you could have physical experience with something. <laughs> <laughs> I understand. I did not think that people were real until I was 103. 103? <laughs> well, how old are you? I'm several centuries old. Several centuries? <laughs> I stopped counting. I'm 29. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> You've made it. Wow. You guys are old. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. All right. Wait, how, how, how old, old are is you? Maggie? Maggie's 18. Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Oh. And I, will, I will say, um, uh, Keely appears between 20 and 40, somewhere in, or not Keely, sorry, uh, Henrietta appears Keely, to be. <laughs> making <laughs> choices for William's character. To, to Henrietta, uh, Keely appears between 10 and 90, so. Oh. Good. Oh. <laughs> but no, uh, yeah, Henrietta looks like between 20 and 40, actually. So. Um, okay. Um, oh, oh my gosh. Um, I will apologize. I'm sorry you had to see me eating my skin. I understand this can be somewhat uh, horrific. Why I, do you I, do I, that? Did other, did other silkies do that? Bah, bah, bah. No, I didn't for a long time either. Um, my 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 skin was was stolen. Um, uh, a few decades ago. Um, and I was I was with that sailor for a long time. Um, one could say I fell in love. Uh, I've revisited that thought recently, but. Uh, I did get my skin back and escape, and I swore it would never happen again. So I, I've been practicing eating things more and more, and 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 now, well, I simply shed and eat and shed and eat. I have two skins now. So you can't be tied down. I cannot be tied down. Nice. As long as I eat. <laughs> cool. I feel that, Henry. Adam. <laughs> <laughs> can't be tied down as long as I eat. Yep. Uh, I can't be tied down as long as I eat. Uh, so, real sorry, real sorry. Next uh, week. <laughs> I, did, I did it for the 18-year-old in the room. Uh, oh, my God. <laughs> and Keely dabs. Um, Keely does not. I know. would like to rest because okay. I'm at three harm and four becomes unstable. So I'm, I'm feeling and looking pretty bad probably. Um, yeah, you don't look great. Uh, didn't you heal? I healed one, but then I, I've taken three since then. Wait, I healed two, um, but I've taken okay. three since then. Henrietta, um, Henrietta, Henrietta, Henrietta. You, yes. gotta, you gotta come to my room. Okay. You gotta come to my room, but when we get to the You're door... You're not going to hurt me. No, I'm not gonna hurt you. I'm gonna do the opposite. Okay. 
I got some stuff that can help you out. I am trusting you, so please do not uh, we're gonna, we're gonna, abuse this. We're gonna go to my room. It's my haven. I go there. I go there all the time. It's where I spend most of my time. But it's a great place, I think, to stow up because I'm pretty sure that the monsters can't get in there. Because I, I've done so much research. I never thought it was true. It was just kind of just stuff I was practicing. I don't know. I just did it as like a, a fun thing. You know how some people, um, uh, when they where they can't. When when they can't uh, play a guitar, they just like uh, you, you know, f- uh, like do the frets on their arm or something, and so like they're it's like they're practicing for one right, day. So what do we do? What did, you, a, what did you do, Keely? Well, I, I monster proof my room. How did you do that? Well, I got salts and I got sages and I got um, uh, I got all sorts of scents and ointments and mm. um, powders and procurements that I I have used in fact to That's make some... sure that no sort of monster can get into my room that I can possibly think of. This. What is, about through your vent? Well, I'll, I'll Which put is I'll, where they're coming from. I'll make sure I'll, I'll line that with some stuff. Just put salt in the vent. That's a good idea. Thank you. Nice job, Henry. Thank I will, you. I yeah. will have to augment a few things to let you in, because I'm okay. almost positive that I have done something that makes sure you can't get in. Why? I'm not a monster. Um. Yeah, what are you trying to say? Pretty messed up. I, but I think we've. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just go to my room. <laughs> so okay. yeah, we're gonna go to my room, and I'll I'll do the necessary stuff to get Henrietta into the room, and then I'll like re re up everything, and I'll do the vents and, and that kind of thing. Okay. My room is an infirmary. Mm-hmm. Oh. So you can heal people and have the space for one or two to recuperate. The keeper will tell you how long any patient's recovery is likely to take, and if you need extra supplies or help. You think that overnight you could probably heal Henrietta completely. Um, if you just wanted to reduce the harm by one so that Henrietta had a little bit more breathing, or Jonas the player had a little mm-hmm. bit more breathing room, <laughs> um, it would take you maybe an hour or two. Okay. And would that be, so I know I can rest and also heal one. Would that be, if I'm resting during that time, would I also heal one while they are yeah, I mean, like, like, administering Yeah, I mean, I don't healing? think you have enough time to rest. Okay to like unless you're doing the overnight thing rest in this is like a long rest yes okay cool yeah. uh okay so this will be first aid gotcha yes cool uh so uh you there is some like what are selkies what can selkies not get in through uh, i didn't i don't i don't <laughs> know do anything research. about that actually i don't know of any like restrictions specifically on selkies well i have but... part of my thing is i have protection spells you ha- your haven is safe from monsters they cannot enter monsters might be able to do something special to evade the wards but not easily so i think here's what happens then i think uh keely walks into her room and as you like kind of start to follow you like it's almost like you're walking into the room and then you just meet a wall mm-hmm. you just meet like a wall that it's like a mime sort of like invisible wall sort of thing. Uh, I am a monster. And Maggie, yeah. you know that spell. Uh. That's a spell that you've used before that you are like, wow, that like it seems really well done, honestly. All right. I guess it's kind of good, Keely. Is it real? Am I doing magic? Yeah. <laughs> Does this mean that <laughs> I am? Job. Oh, thank you. <laughs> am I a monster then? Um. Yeah, but you're like a lovable one. I mean, like, I think all I think you all monsters me? have the potential for being lovable, just like humans. Would, are you saying you love me? Not yet. I don't know you that well. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Oh, okay. Do be careful. Oh, yeah, I'm definitely not going to steal your skin, though. Okay, thank you. Yeah, you can love someone without, like, tying them down, you know? Yeah, you can love someone without stealing their skin. See, I, 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 I hear this, and I have heard this, but I've yet to see it firsthand. Okay. Hey, but Henrietta, I'm going to go over, and I'm going to put my hand... Um, up to like where your hand is uh, mm-hmm. is blocked at the at the doorway. I'm just going like this with both hands. Yeah, and I'm just gonna I'm just be like, hey, Henriette, just Hello. so you know, I and I said this I said this kind of as a passing joke in the moment, but sincerely, you don't gotta have your skin stolen by someone you love, and someone you love would not steal your skin. That's all I'm gonna say. That's all I'm gonna say. Now let me. Dispel this so you can walk through the door. Uh, I and will then wait. I, and then I go to. Do Thank that. you. Okay. This. You've made me feel good. So I do. I do the, the okay. stuff, and I get Henry in its room, and then I re up that shiz. Okay. To, and you um, put stuff on the vents too. I'm assuming. Yep. yep. Okay. Stuff on the vents. Cool. Um, any opening I could possibly think of. 
I am salt and sage and like some some spell circles and stuff. I've got like little chalkboards. Yeah. Um, that I like put a spell circle on and I put it below the window. So Her like, form's impeccable. Yeah. I'm impressed. <laughs> <laughs> like this is like uh, your your coven. Mm-hmm. Are they called the coven? Yeah. Okay. Your coven. Um, mm-hmm. Like this is like what you have seen from the leaders of the coven. Mm. That like your teachers who were teaching you this shit. Yeah. Like it's that level of wow. form. Wow. Okay. Wow. Do you, do you audibly say wow sometimes when I'm doing something? I might. Okay. Mm-hmm. Might just uh, occasional. I'll just internalize that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, okay, so what <laughs> what would you like to do? Would you like to... I will leave this up to you, whether you'd like to spend the night and, and heal completely or just take one harm off. Can we, can we spend the night and heal completely and discuss... What we think is going on. I think that's a great idea. I agree. Okay, so we're having a sleepover. Okay, uh, can effectively. I use your tongue? Maggie's very against calling it a, okay, <laughs> a sleepover. <laughs> a slumber party, I've heard. Even worse. Okay. Um, a group nap all okay. night. An all night group nap. Okay. Uh, you you all notice um, as you are sort of like getting things set up for this. Definitely not a slumber party. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> all night group you, nap. You you notice that the rain outside is coming down even harder. Like it is like it is hard to see Huntsville mm. from the the uh, windows, and normally you have a view like five miles to the horizon, yeah. sort of thing. I think rather than wanting to go in the tub because a monster came out of it before, I just want to like open the window and stick as much of me as I can out. Okay, cool. Yeah, I think I'd I'd allow that. Cool. Just be careful. Mm-hmm. Maybe I'll do my bottom half so I can have my head in the room to kind of like drape my I legs out of the window. I be able to know. If that would break a ward or not, having a window open. Hmm. Uh, I think with with uh, Keeley's level of of ward casting, yeah. um, even unintentionally, she has proofed the room. Nice. So it seems <laughs> like any part of Henrietta that is outside of the room mm-hmm. is vulnerable, but nothing could get in even if the window was open. Cool, 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 cool. Okay. So, okay. So my legs would be vulnerable right now, but yeah, cool. Mm. You, your legs are out. Because I, yeah, I'm, I'm out of my head in the room, so I'm just like yeah, leaning the, my oh, lower oh, half out of the window. I was picturing it the other way too. I was originally. It was that, and yeah. then I flipped around, so oh, I got okay. my head in the room. Ah, uh, gotcha. Okay, cool. Um, all right. Um, so and can... it is officially nightfall, by the way. All right. Cool. So can I just say that we just like shared everything we all know. Like, yeah. going forward, like, yeah. I, I'll mm-hmm. share, I mean, like, that I saw the tile thing. And the only other thing I had to share was that I knew you were a seal. <laughs> yep. I, I um, um, but I, if any, um, anything uh, becomes important about, like, the layout of the hotel or anything mm-hmm. like that, I mean, I would have that information. I'm, Great. I've, okay. I've, like, I've been to every room. I've, mm-hmm. like... The, I think the... The only piece of information that is maybe relevant is like the casino is closed today for cleaning. Um, cleaning. Yeah. Which right. is, you would probably yeah. have figured out by now it is the pest control people. Yeah, they're monster that hunters. And closed that. Yeah, and I've probably shared what I know that they are not here for me and immediately recognized me as a Selkie even before you did. All I was doing was swimming. Acting totally normal, so I don't know what's up with that. Um, um, yeah, Henrietta, if you wanna, if you wanna be a little bit more. Uh, Inconspicuous. You should. Please, I would love pointers. Okay. Um, well, we are both 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 um, Maggie and I are uh, human I can women. Tell. Mm-hmm. So I guess if you just like watch us for a while, I mean, I think I think I do pretty human things. I I would say so too. I've studied many humans from the East Coast to here, and um, oh, that's your problem studying the East Coast. <laughs> well, I got out as fast as I could. Uh, swish. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I've studied many humans, and and I I will say you two do seem fairly human. Yeah, I'd say so. I think being able to study the two of you for for a concentrated amount of time might be more useful because I've just seen so many and I take things from here and there but sometimes it doesn't mesh Hmm. but I would love to model myself off of your personalities might I suggest clothes I'm wearing clothes like oh you mean and I put my like shawl on yes Uh, also shoes (laughs) yeah I want to wear some shoes but I'd have to take them off to get in the water right um well no there are some water shoes Water shoes? Oh. You wear Crocs. Crocs? 
<laughs> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Tell me about these crocs. I know the tasty croc. Are these made of crocodile? Please bring me to them now. <laughs> now they're more like... I don't know if seals eat crocodiles, but this one does. <laughs> You're a selkie, not a seal. I'm a selkie. Also a leopard seal, which yeah. the only predator of the leopard seal is the killer whale, I believe. Yeah. So well, they're, they're badass motherfuckers. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, yes. Actually, <laughs> yeah. funny enough, I probably think Maggie might have a pair of Crocs on her that really? her mom probably gave her. Cool. <laughs> yeah, you do. shower shoes. So yeah. I'm Crocs, please, give them here. to me. <laughs> I definitely don't want them. So. Um, can they are so- miraculously your size, <gasps> which means your mom totally overestimated how big your feet were. That makes sense. <laughs> yep. Your mom was like, you're a growing girl. Right. You'll, grow You'll grow into, into them. them. You'll grow into these shoes. <laughs> I'm going to like take like laps around the room trying to walk normal, and I'm probably just like going like this all over the place because I've not walked in shoes in years <laughs> and never shoes like this. So. Um, I'm going to I'm gonna get like a, a, t- a tub, like a bucket thing. I'm going to fill it with water and I'm going to put it at the foot of my bed and I'm going to let you like put your feet with mm-hmm. the Crocs in it. Cool. And I'll just stand there and just kind of wiggle a little bit. Kind of like a, like a potted plant. I'm like baby, baby Groot right now. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Can I roll with all the information that we have combined to sure. investigate a mystery? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> okay. Can I help out? Uh, yeah. Does that make yes, sense here? you can. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. So I'm going to roll plus cool. I have a plus two cool. Great. So hey. help out is essentially Monster of the Week's version of like, I'm going to lend you some points here mm-hmm. so yeah. that you can do better. And um, you will get a plus one because I rolled 11. Um, also, we're in my my room, so yeah. I have lore library. Yeah. So I, have a, I have a plus one for that as oh, well. So, you're... <laughs> so it's a plus two. Plus two. Plus two so, plus your sharp. Hold on. I rolled a 10. Mm-hmm. I get a plus one from my library. Mm-hmm. I get plus two from my sharp, and I get plus two from Henrietta. Oh, sorry, plus one from me. I was, oh, I was counting. Oh, okay, so I have uh, 14. Wow. Okay, <laughs> so here's the deal. Uh, when you investigate a mystery, roll plus sharp. On a 10 plus, you have two questions to ask. Um, I'm going to let you... Sorry, do... um, on a 12 plus, I may ask the keeper any question I want about the mystery, I not just I was just going to say. Yes. Um, so you get two. So... I have, I'm holding two, so I can do two questions that are yes. not on the list. Yes. We should talk about this, because this is big. This is big. Why can't we see the hand? Because you um, would fairly easily be able to piece together that uh, whatever it is seems to be collecting DNA, and that DNA is being used... To prevent us from to seeing. prevent you from seeing. So now mm. you won't be able to see it anymore. Great. <laughs> okay. 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 Um, since this is kind of like an investigate uh, mystery for all of us, do either of you have an idea for a question? Um, because that was like that was the big one I wanted to know. There's probably think... a, there's probably something else that like people in the chat. Wait, quick! I'm gonna get on the chat. Where... Someone in chat, tell me. <laughs> Maybe how can we keep track of it? How can we track it? Uh... Would that be good, or 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 how do we stop it? I feel like one of those. Something I don't know. Like how, we need a way to interact with this thing. Sure. Yeah, whether it's finding it, defeating it, helping it, maybe. Um, I can speak to, to things if we need to. Um, how how can? By the way, how can we? How can we get our DNA back? Ooh, good question. How can we see it? How can we see it? How can we see it? Why can't we and how can we? Uh, you you know you can't because... Right, I know, I know, yeah. yeah it yeah, is individual how, DNA. How mm-hmm. can we? The, um, Maggie, you would know the answer to this question. Okay. Um, you, while you were with the coven, mm-hmm. um, had some experience with things that were invisible or intangible. Um, and you know that there are certain spells you could cast that would allow you to see things. Okay. Um, specifically, if you want to take a look at your third eye. <gasps> oh, yeah. <laughs> uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Yes. I can open my third eye. Would you read what that says for us? Uh, take plus one hold on any result of seven or more. Plus, you can see invisible things. I can see invisible things. I'm sorry, I wasted the question. It's totally okay. No, that's okay. That's like that is. We are learning what these these characters are learning mm-hmm. about this thing and are yeah. learning what they can do. So that's right. That is that is totally okay. I can be your eyes. Okay. Yes. Um, you would also know with 
a 13? 14. 14. Um, that beyond magic, there is not really a way that you can see this thing. Fair enough. Mm. Okay, so I think I think that's our night then. Okay. Mm-hmm. Right, because I mean, like, I we we discuss everything we we know, and then like as we're saying stuff, it's like that thing, like, oh, oh, like, like, yeah, I know, I know, like, why that is, or like, you know, I'm saying, like, oh, I've never seen this thing before, I've never even heard of it, I know, and I know everything, and this is like unbelievable, um, and then we determine like why we can't see it, probably because it's collecting our DNA. Like, I, I, I don't feel like that's a big leap. So mm-hmm. as of right now, that is something that we would latch on to as, like, not necessarily fact, but, like, yeah. very strong hypothesis. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then the, the rest of it, yeah. Do you all go to sleep this night? I would like to sleep in your tub. I would like to sleep in your tub. Uh, okay, cool. Yeah, that's fine with me. It is protected? Um, yeah, no, the, every, the whole room, the bathroom, everything's protected. Okay. And I will sleep in the tub. Um, are you all going to sleep tonight? Yeah. Uh, you, you, if you're going to stay in the room, you can have a bed. I'll sleep on the floor. The bed is large enough for both of you, I think. Yeah, I don't care. I'm good. Okay. All okay. Right. Just observing. Um, Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Yeah. You are, are you all, you, so you are all going to sleep, yes? Yes. Okay. <laughs> yes, I, I, even I will go, Keely's backing off now that she knows what he's doing. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Um, (laughs) The curtains blow faintly away from a heating vent near the ceiling on the other end of the room. They knock against the window frame, but it's just quiet enough not to be annoying. The digital neon of a bedside clock blares into the dark room, and sound echoes distantly from the hallway. The occasional ding of an elevator, the sound of footsteps and humming. For all intents and purposes, it's like every other night the dirge has ever seen. From far Far away, a sound vibrates through the vent. For the, from this far, it could be anything. The system settling, someone dropping something on the other end of the hotel, a distorted clap of thunder, or maybe a particularly loud boot step. If you were awake, you might have said how it sounded like the cracking of knuckles, or a particularly egregious twist of the back. It echoes again. Of course, you're asleep. So you don't notice as the sound grows louder, now occasionally accompanied by something banging off the sides of the vent, and a persistent shh of something soft and smooth slowly sliding across the metal. You don't register the soft clang as it arrives at your vent as anything other than white noise. And then you don't hear it retreating back away from the vent. What does wake you up the next morning is splash, splash, knocking. Splash, splash, splash. Oh. Uh, mm. uh. Not at Keeley's door, uh-huh. but at a door next door. And you hear a familiar voice. Um, it's Martin. And he's saying, hey, hey, I need your help. Hey, 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 open the door. Um, oh, the, that, is, that, is, that is Martin. He needs some help. I'll get it. Okay. The door. Um, the door opens, uh, and and Martin, you, you see He's down, right? A huh? door opens, and Martin is down to the side. Yeah. Martin okay, is go. down at one of the other doors. Yeah. He sees you open the door, and he's like, "Go back to bed. Go back to bed. I need. Listen, I'm. I got a thing with this person. It's Henrietta. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, she's in here. Oh, wait, Martin, you you may come in here. They know as well. Fuck, fuck. okay. Henry, uh, he, he like walks the door. He sees He's... a leopard seal peeking out of the bathroom. Oh. <laughs> um, he, he is also not phased by cool. that. Um, he walks up and he's like, uh, I need I need your help immediately. Um, there is There are um, tears running down his face. Oh, no. um, and he has like a, uh, what looks to be a broken arm. Um, and his suit is ripped in a, a variety of places. Uh, um, he says, I need you uh, right now Martin, to come with me to the pool. Martin, Martin really quick, like just step in here for just one second. Do you know Martin's name? But yeah. Uh, I like told him. Okay, said it. cool. Mm-hmm. How do you, how, who do you, who are you? Henry, I like, I'm like, just, just come in, just like one second. Listen, we gotta fucking go, Henrietta, no, please, please. He knows everything and Maggie is a wizard. 
Which you uh, should not. Oh, uh, he oh, he steps inside and closes the door. You should not be saying okay. that out loud. Wait. Okay. And okay. He does, and he does step inside and close the door. Mm-hmm. Not a monster. Not a monster. Uh, not a monster is fine. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he says, L- 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 "Okay, I don't have I don't have time for this. I don't have time. We have to go to the pool right now." Um, okay. As soon as he comes in, then I'm, yeah. I. I like actually before he can even get the door closed, I'm gonna start pushing him out. I'm like, all right, let's go, let's go, let's go. Because okay. like I just um, want, I only wanted to make sure he can step through the doorway. Cool. Good. <laughs> um, you you see the the head of the leopard seal start to split in the middle, split all the way down into two pieces that are just connected at the bottom, and human uh, Henrietta emerges and begins eating the leopard seal pelt. Okay. Um, he is like running for the stairs. Uh, I'll run. I'll run for the stairs as well. Okay. Hey man, he's got to finish eating. He's he's gone. I just I'm go. Going. I can run as I go, and I'll be slower because <laughs> I'm eating and dragging my suitcase with me. Um. I'll, I'll ditch the cloak here. Okay. Wait, hold on. Uh, You're running down the hallway. Eating. <laughs> eat this. Uh, leopard pelt. Okay. He said, "We got to go right now." I'm yeah, eating as fast true. as I can. Can I try to finish eating before I get out? Is there a role for that? Maybe um, act under pressure? No. So okay. here's what's going to happen. Um, y'all get to the stairway and disappear into the door, and a door back down the hallway opens, and Henry Sweezel peeks his head out and goes, "Holy shit!" <laughs> You are in the in the uh, staircase of this hotel. Um, it is a it is an entirely concrete area that is not meant to be seen by guests. Really, mm-hmm. um, you make your way all the way down to the pool, um, and there's actually a thing I have to do. Then okay, <laughs> so I have pure drive. One emotion rules you. Uh, they suggest things like hunger, hate, anger. We chose submersion. <gasps> Um, so seeing that I, uh, do I have access to the pool Not yet. right now? Okay. As soon as there is a possibility of me getting yes. into the pool, I need to roll to act under pressure to resist, which is what I'm going to try to right. do. <laughs> um, you open the door and walk out into the pool area and immediately see a crushed human body floating on the top of the pool. Okay. I'm talking mangled. I'm talking someone put this person in a trash compressor. Ugh. They are twisted in ways that no human person could survive um, and are currently leaking blood out into the pool. Roll to act under pressure. Hey, I'm so glad I failed. Uh, three, wait, plus cool. Mark experience. Yeah, I think so. Because three plus two is five. Yeah, still that's bad. Still a fail. Cool. Oh, no. All right. Um, so I see that, and I'm like, oh, no. And then I just dive into the water. Um, you splash a big crimson uh, splash as it, like, echoes out to the pool. And I think there's, like, water and blood that, like, slops up on the side of the pool. Um, Martin has not yet exited the stairwell. He's almost hysterical standing in the corner. Um, and you all recognize the body. Yeah. It's, yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna recoil a little bit from this, and like kind of go back to the to the stairwell as well. Um, I would like to read a bad situation. Why don't you do that? Thanks. All right. Because <laughs> like I've I've seen blood before. So. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Plus sharp. Okay. That's not that great. It's a seven. Okay. So oh, on a I seven to nine. I do see invisible things still. Uh, did you roll with the with the third eye? Mm-mm. No. That's only it. only if you use the third eye. You can see. Oh, no, that's what things. I was saying. Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, sorry. I'm sorry. My bad. Yes. No, it's okay. Yes. <laughs> so you're rolling. You're rolling the third eye. Yes. So what does that say on a seven to nine? Does it say? It says. Uh, Oh, would you Does it say anything in particular other than... Take plus one hold on any result of seven or ah, more, cool. plus you can see invisible things. Great. Okay, so you... Yes. Yes. Um, so you have two questions. What's my best way in? What's my best way out? Are there any dangers we haven't noticed? What's the biggest threat? What's most vulnerable to me? And what's the best way to protect the victims? Are there any dangers we haven't noticed? Um, as soon as... What, is this third eye a physical thing? Is it like a physical third? You get to it's choose. Choice. It's up yeah. to you. I don't think so. Okay. It's just yeah. like a spiritual yeah. opening yeah, to yeah. the world. Mm-hmm. Um, okay. Uh, 
you open your third eye and everything is suddenly bathed in orange. Okay. Um, like a really muted, fine orange that kind of like goes over everything. Mm. And you see um, twisting its way back into the drain of the pool one of those hands. Got it. Um, there are several vents in this room to let out the steam. Uh, and none of them are open yet. Got it. I have two questions. Did I, did we finish? Wait, wait, wait. She has one more question. Cool. Because she has, uh, third eye. Yes, 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 yes. Um, okay, well, I guess I kind of, okay, so what's the best way to protect the victims? In this case, I'm saying... Not the guy who's a mangled mess, but mm-hmm. Martin in this case. Uh, you turn around yeah. to go l- to, to in maybe shock and horror, I don't know. I don't want to make that choice for you, yeah. but you certainly turn around. Yeah. <laughs> and you see a hand reaching for the back of Martin's head. Can I immediately act, or is there too much? Uh, shit? Is that too much all at once? <laughs> Pause for just a oh, moment. Okay. Uh, did it I is, fully and it is like cre- it is from the stairwell. It has like reached out. Uh, Henrietta, I did I get fully healed before we got woken up? Uh, yes, you cool. have spent the you decided to spend the night, so you cool. are completely healed. If awesome. you, you, neither of you have taken harm yet, correct? Right? No. Okay. Yeah, Good. Yeah. Cool. Um, so I would like to. I, I dove into the water instinctively, mm-hmm. but I am aware that I am trying to help with something bad happening. There's yes. a dead person here. There's blood. So while I'm in the water, I would like to try to find whatever did this. Okay. I think that's probably also read a bad situation, or would that be investigate a mystery. To to find what did this, I would say it's investigate a mystery. Cool. That would be my. And I think I know what did this. I'm just trying to find it. Gotcha. You know, in okay. the pool using probably scent. Yeah. Or the movement of the water. That is a six plus sharp, right? So mm-hmm. six. Okay. Um, that is I a think failure. That's another experience. <laughs> uh, so uh, you're gonna level up, Henrietta. <laughs> I only need one more. Okay. <laughs> so uh, one of the things I can do um, I love when people fail is take a hard move. Um, and I am going to do that now. Uh, Keely. Yeah. <laughs> what have I done? You feel something grab you by the throat. And it's not a hand. It feels like bone wraps itself around your throat like maybe twice or three times and drags you back into the stairwell. The same exact thing happens to uh, Martin. And the door slams closed just as you get up to it. Damn it. <laughs> You're going to take three harm right off the bat. Oh, my God. All right. I was just trying to look. <laughs> no, that's okay. Yeah, some of them are just like uh, swimming wildly trying to find this thing. I, Maggie, yeah. I want to understand what you do first because mm-hmm. you are closest to this situation. Me I too. think this is the first time that Maggie is going to show any kind of emotion, mm-hmm. and, like as far as like being freaked out mm-hmm. and probably be like, oh, oh, fuck, oh, shit, uh, uh, and I'm going to try to open the door, I guess. It opens. Okay, and then do I see anything? Yeah, you see uh, Keely and Martin being dragged, struggling up the staircase. Do I see the arm? Cause my you see arm. it, yeah. You see it bathed in orange right now. Can I attack? Yeah, why don't you roll kick some ass? Okay. What is? And then we will get to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I what does it. she see around Keely's throat? She sees an arm. Like the arm is segmented. Snake just around, okay. wrapping around like that. That's funny. And the hand is like out like this. Gotcha. When you explained it earlier, I also thought of those like wooden snake things. Like immediately. Which which oh, uh, which, that are like, which ouch! It's they, pinching they can, my neck. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, except yeah. with bone and yeah. skin. Is it? Am I rolling kick some ass? Because I'm not attacking with my knife or anything. Oh, I'm sorry. Or you could use uh, use magic, magic. magic if you wanted I'm to do that as well. I'm going to use magic instead. Okay. And I'm going to. Do... Whatever you rolled, you can take that roll if you already rolled. Yeah. Oh, oh thank you. Uh, Eleven. Eleven. <laughs> well, your magic is awesome. I'm tough. Uh, on a ten plus, well, wait, not you're actually. not tough. Though. No, I'm not uh, tough. I'm <laughs> on weird. a ten plus, the magic <laughs> works without tough, issues. Uh, choose your effect. Okay. Um, I'm gonna try the banish thing because that worked last time. Okay. Which one? Oh, there's two arms. Oh no. I'm gonna do Keely. Okay. Uh, 
Smart. The arm wrapped Same around your characters. neck. <laughs> the arm wrapped around your neck turns to liquid, um, and you just you don't see it, but you feel it slough off you, Ugh. and you are left dragged halfway up the stairs. Can can oh. I make a, a grab for Martin? Yep. Get out, grab, get, get out of here! Get out of here! Right next to each other. So this is act under what pressure. Yes, yeah, so absolutely. This is act under pressure. Great, because I've read about this sort of thing. <laughs> <laughs> and I get to roll plus sharp instead of plus cool on Sweet, act under roll. pressure. Wait, haven't you literally not read about this sort of thing? I've read no, I've but read, you know about, about, it. read oh. about saving people. I've sure. read about yeah, saving yeah. people. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah. I've read about how to suppress yes. um suppress my my fear and anxiety and tap into adrenaline in order to act under pressure. Yes. So that's gonna be nine. On a seven and nine, the keeper is gonna give you a worse outcome, hard choice, or price to pay. Uh, worse outcome, hard choice, or price to pay. Okay. You can grab Martin, but you might get dragged along too. I grab Martin. Keely and Martin are pulled up the stairway and out of view. You actually are pulled into the central part of the stairway, oh, and you you disappear quickly up into the stairs. I see them do it. Great. Henrietta, what are you doing? I have I think I've kind of gained composure. Um, the water being bloody doesn't actually bother me. Uh, I have created bloody water many times. Um, mm -hmm. But I would like to just like kind of pop up next to the body and like if it's face down, roll it over, do whatever, so I can try to identify this body if it's someone I okay. know. Is is it Marty? It is Marty. Okay. That's what and I as you roll the body over, it coughs. <gasps> Marty? <gasps> it's me, Henrietta. The Selkie. There is no no register of anything. There's blood like dribbling out of the side of its mouth. You can see some mm. of the teeth are broken out. I would like to like kind of push it out of the pool up onto the, the side. It um, like wheezes as you roll it onto the, the land. Um, and I I want to I want to try to do I I guess uh, 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 CPR would that is that what I'm trying to say? You, okay. you know, like what you do when someone has drowned. Okay. CPR doesn't feel right. Is that right? Uh, no, there's like another word um, for it I'm uh, about to do. Uh, treb trebuchet. No. Uh, not the, not the, not you know what I'm talking about, though, right? Where it's like you have to like... A tracheotomy? No. I'm going to try to... There's a word. I'm going to try to... You know what I'm going to do? <laughs> no. Okay. Um, does it seem... I might need to roll to see what's going on with him before I act next. If you I either did CPR, wanna... you would kill this person. I'm almost yeah. positive. I don't, so not, not CPR. What's First the, aid. First aid. Yeah, let me... Let me see. Let me see a roll to see if I can figure out what is going on with this body. What right would now. you like to roll to do that? I think investigate a mystery. Why don't you roll act under pressure? Act mm -hmm. under pressure. Cool. <laughs> I level up. That's a five. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Jeepers. So, so here's do, what do, happens. Do, do, do. You roll this body onto land, mm -hmm. and uh, the body is like coughs and there's just like water like dribbling out the side. I'm gonna use a luck point. It's actually twelve. <gasps> Erase your experience. Good point. use yep. of luck. Okay. I forgot we had that. Me too. <laughs> Act under pressure. On a twelve plus you may choose to either do what you wanted and something extra or do what you wanted to absolute perfection. What I wanted to do was figure out what's going on with him, if this body is alive, and what I can do to help uh, uh, Marty, if Marty is still in there. You know, because you used your luck point, that nearly every bone in this person's body is broken. Okay. Including their skull, back, and neck. Are they going to live? It seems unlikely without magical intervention. Okay. I think as you do that, because you rolled a 12, mm -hmm. um, do you have your hands on this person? Yeah. I will let you spend a point of harm okay. to repair some of the damage. I want to do the body. opposite of what my, so I, I have my, uh, will give my some life water. drain. I'm doing life give. Yeah, mm -hmm. cool. I'm going to give uh, Marty some life. Do I, okay. I don't need to roll, do I? You don't need to roll. No. You will take a point of harm. Yep, I will take one point of harm. I'll get it back. Um, you feel like your blood cool a little bit mm -hmm. as 
power like rushes mm-hmm. through your hands and into this person and it's it's not pretty mm-hmm. uh his head snaps back into place like it uh, in, in everything kind of fixes itself mm-hmm. a little bit and his broken back is sort of like rolling into shape and then suddenly he coughs again and he just starts cussing cool he just starts like the worst profanity you've ever heard in your life like just, maybe like, super, a little shocking yeah. even to I Henry. I don't think I don't think shock again I've hung out with sailors um okay. <laughs> so I think I am just like letting that happen just full composure Maggie what mm. are you doing <laughs> um I first of all I want to point out I messed up Big mm-hmm. time, and okay. I actually should have had a twelve, but I know we can't retroact that, so that's, that's okay. fine. Mm-hmm. Um, Happens I to the best of us. Yeah. I'm going to uh, turn to Henrietta. Okay. Mm-hmm. Be like, uh, okay, so Keely just got dragged, and I think we really got to go take care mm-hmm. of that. And then I'm going to just start running up the stairs. Um, after. Marty is okay. Um, <laughs> to try to get. To uh, Marty is going to turn to see you and say, "Hey, hey, Silky. Uh, Hello, my name is Henrietta. Oh, Henrietta." So at this point, you know we're not pest control, right? I uh, I was never clear what pest control was. And next time on Monster of the Week. (laughs) That's where we're going to end. All right. Oh, Oh, Keely. Okay. (laughs) Keely, you're in a bad spot. You're in quite the pickle. I can't wait until next episode where I bring out Henrietta's huge sword. Hell yeah. (laughs) Wow. Uh, thank you all for watching. Uh, this has been the first episode of Monster of the Week. There will be a part two where we will resolve all of this. Maybe they'll kill the monster. Maybe some of them will die. Who's I'm gonna, to say? I'm just going to say this right now. If these characters survive, we're doing another one-off. We're doing yeah. we're doing another session. This, this is, is awesome. Like, yeah. This is super fun. I love this so much. I I love these characters. Mm-hmm, I I just like immediately. I love the environment. I love being in the hotel. It's yeah, just it's like fun. immediately. I think because of how contained it is, it felt really easy to just like be. It's not not even necessarily exploring. It's like um. It's like the opposite, but still the same. Because like I know the environment, so I just get to say <laughs> shit. Yeah. And it's just like this is true. <laughs> like, <laughs> and I get to be like, is this true, GM? Ah. Oh. Wow. And I say it is. It is true. <laughs> it is true. You do Tis have true. five guns. thousand guns. <laughs> <laughs> you just, um, uh, real quick, uh, so we will be doing the conclusion of this next Wednesday at the same time, so be here, be square, I guess. Uh, and I have been your keeper, uh, Sam Richardson. You can find me online at Laggardson, L-A-G-G-A-R-D-S-O-N. Uh, I have been Jonas Newhouse playing the uh, Selkie, Henrietta Sam, with a silent L. Uh, if square is not quite your color, uh, you can uh, be here, be sphere with me at Jonas Newhouse on Twitter. <laughs> that was awesome. Uh, hi, I'm Sam Dar. I, uh, you can find me at twitch.tv slash pixelsammy. And you should. Yeah. You should do that. Cool. Uh, and I'm William, and I've been uh, playing Keely Stewart, uh, the expert. And uh, <laughs> uh, gonna have to use my not gonna get out of this one. Um, <laughs> and uh, uh, you can find me on Twitter and Instagram at k william white. I also run another show for Q Times called Hijinks and Handlebars. It is an actual play kids on bikes tabletop live stream. If you don't know what kids on bikes is, but you might know what D and D is. If D and D is Lord of the Rings. Then Kids on Bikes is Stranger Things. If Monster of the Week is Buffy, Kids on Bikes is Stranger Things. If, um, if Apocalypse World is Mad Max, then Kids on Bikes is Stranger Lord Things. Lord of the Rings. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, and that's every Tuesday night, 6.30 uh, p.m. PDT. We just, uh, next week, this next Tuesday is going to be the end of the second arc. We'll All see. of our... Probably. It has to be because Franny. I'm gonna won't filibuster. Because Franny won't be there. It has to be the end of the second arc. Um, it'll be the end of the second arc. Oh God, hopefully. Uh, and uh, then, um, so catch up by then. We have all of the vods, all of the previous episodes on Q Times main YouTube channel. And it is in a playlist called the Hijinks and Handlebars. Or you can find the playlist by uh, typing in bitly slash handlestream capital H capital S. Uh, so we'll be back here Wednesday. Sam and Jonas are both in that. Uh, well. Oh, okay, uh, Sam 
Sam Lagerson. That Sam. Yes. Yes. Wait, me Sam. Sam. Uh, that, Maggie, that Sam. Maggie Sam is not in it. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, this, is, uh, this is Sam's first uh, stream with Kitty. Oh. Hey, hey, y'all, can we just take a moment to say you fucking rule? Yeah, oh, you're so good. Good. Thank you so much. I love good. Maggie. I love Maggie. I, I love this wait trio. For part two. I, yeah. I think that they should be in charge of Adventure Zone Amnesty and saving <laughs> that day as well. <laughs> Um, For sure. And just a couple last things. Uh, on Sundays, Q Times also has a stream with the Uncommon Trust. They're doing a one-off, I think, this Sunday. A one-off. Um, and that's really wonderful. They just wrapped up Paranoia. Those VODs are also on Q Times' main YouTube channel, along with everything else that Q Times does, including the uh, weekly, uh, uh, about three times a week, uh, news show that they do that either is talking about nerd and geek news, or they talk about tabletop role-playing games and sometimes give you really in-depth breakdowns so you don't have to read an entire book to understand and play How the games. How to roll a sword. Yes. <laughs> so check that out. Uh, YouTube, Twitch, everything. Subscribe. Uh, give us bits. <laughs> give us bits. Talk give to us bits. on Twitter. Give yeah. us Bitcoin. Okay, that's it. That's all I got. Goodbye. Thank you. Bye. See you next week. Have your neighborhood tentacles. The thrilling conclusion. <laughs> Thank you, tentacles. Thank you, tentacles. <laughs>